All right, can you guys hear us? Can you hear us? Hello, Hello. Do -do. Anybody? Can anybody hear us? Yeah, is that a yes? You can hear us? We yeah! Yay! Holy crap, what a <laughs> what a crap show. Okay. So all right, so sorry about that. I was just telling everybody here at the team how much I hate going live because at the last second, I could test all day at the last second something goes wrong. Now, we had quite a, uh, quite a few viewers, so let's give time for everybody to figure it out. Yeah. So, Britt, if you want to go to the chat on the last one, let people know where we are. I unlisted it. They can't even find okay, it. Okay, don't do that, Britt. Don't unlist it? <laughs> well, it's, no, I mean, sort of free unlisted, don't, don't mention it. All right, so. I'm just going to read All righty. Okay, we got 65 people back. Okay, so we're, we're off to a good start. We're off to a good start. We're off to a good start. Just want to make sure everybody <laughs> that uh, we're back on track. Okay, so let's start this over again. Ready? Ready? Yes, Ready? Yeah, let's do it. Welcome to the winner announcement of our huge 12 Days of Christmas collection Ooh. giveaway. Glad you guys could join us. Uh, a few lucky people are going home winners. Now, by my count, actually, you know what? That might be one of the answer, one of the questions. Here we go. Let me make a little announcement here. <clears throat> Throughout this episode, we have two, count them, two, one, two, bonus prizes that we're giving to people who have watched, who are here. And to win, you're going to answer, answer some trivia. Now, I have noticed in the chat that there's at least one person that's a family member. They will probably have these <laughs> answers. They are not allowed to win <laughs> or answer. <laughs> Talking to you, George. Here for the fun. We still love you, George. We still love you. All right. So now. Oh, everyone's excited for the trivia. Let, 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 let me announce our assistants. We have Jess, Chris, or Rudolph, Rudolph, and my lovely assistant, Brittany. Brittany Claus. Now, Brittany Claus. <laughs> so now, I'll be Santa, I'll be Santa Claus, your host and gift giver. Jess will be playing the part of the winner announcer and question asker. She'll be she'll be bringing us up to speed on the questions that you guys answered. And Chris will be supplying us. He'll he'll be running. He'll be doing the physical labor of the episode. You'll see him being running back and forth grabbing stuff for us. Like and Brittany, right here. Brittany will be answering your comments. She'll be on the chat all the time. Um, so Jet Jet. <laughs> Jess will be using this. She'll, she's our helper elf. You can tell by her, help, her elf outfit. It's green. That's elf. That's all it is. This is green. Um, anyway, you should have worn. She's not up. the elf on the shelf that just Those decided candy to candies? unplug the um, candy cane stockings. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so she'll be picking the winners from here, pronouncing them, using them here. Uh, we've got a nice spreadsheet set up for oh. for logistic purposes. <laughs> so. We have a question. Oh, we have a question. Go ahead. Okay, so from Mike Beach, it says, will we know Jess and Britt's character names for Frosthaven by the end of this live stream? It depends. One of the question, one of the winners was a person who answered that question. Jess and Britt, you don't have to stick to those. I don't even know what they are. But... I don't know either. I'm excited to find out what the name <laughs> but is. they are. I feel like that's fun. I saw a few that were like, you know, very typical. I saw some that were very creative. Some that were inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, uh, we also have Jamie says, "Let the one in the full bodysuit do the running around and sweat in the outfit." Maybe I am. You, if you you put, sweat enough just sitting. There. Just so you know, there is nothing <laughs> underneath this, and I am. You can put buckets under in my oh, in buckets, and you collect the PMI. the liquid magic. Uh, anyway, I'll lay everybody's face. <laughs> like you guys don't sweat. We All right. Let's jump into some winners. Oh, first, let, let's uh, let's, good, Chris. let's announce the winners of our first episode. That's my friend. And then, oh, hold on, hold on. We need to clarify. No winners do not need to answer trivia, but we have well some, for these two for, for these the two, two we do the two bonus ones you do because we and we'll ask a few different questions in case the first one like falls off. Yeah. All right. But for all the pre all the all the entries you already did, if your name gets called, you win. And we've got oh yeah, I'm not gonna say how many. Oh, and one thing to mention, because we didn't mention it in this live video, um, you do not have to be watching live. That was a question. Does the winner have to be on here live? No, but you have two weeks to get back to us. Yes. Um, and just make sure that you've heard your name on the video when. Yeah, we have a lot of people 
reaching out to anybody who answered. Like the people are scammers being like, send me your information. We are not gonna ask you for any money. No. No, no. money required. And All the shit they need to Yeah, pay. if if someone's contacting you in the comments. Oh, then... did you add the, the details, the description of how to I can't edit the video now because you're oh, but, oh, it was a new video. That's right. This is a new video. So after this video is done, I'm going to upload the description and some of the information that we're going to need for the winners to reach out to us. And then we're going to verify your account before we ask any of those uh, personal questions that we might need. But again, we're never going to ask you for money. So please make sure you hear your name come out of our mouths today. And then we will put it uh, during the video. And then we're going to put all the information in yeah. the description for you. So in the description, which we had in the other video, which we had to delete. There will be like step by step everything you have to do if your name is called. Yeah. There'll be a uh, confirmation step we go through, uh, email of who to contact because you're going to contact me. I am not going to reach out to you, especially not in the comments. The only way I'm going to reach out to you is if you don't respond in two weeks. Yep. And if you're feeling really uncomfortable because of the scammers, like we can figure out a way to verify it. And if we need to jump on a quick FaceTime for like one minute, we will do that for you to make you feel confident minute. that it's us. One minute. <laughs> we have a lot of people to talk to, so we can't. All right, that's enough. That's enough. We can't that's do a lot, but we got this. yes, we can jump on. We just want to make sure that they feel comfortable sharing their Everybody's so comfortable. Everybody's so comfortable. We want to bring you fine back. Speaking of we're not going to let you right now. Yeah, we're know. not going to let. Oh, is it issue? <laughs> How's that nose? All right, here we go. Ready, ready, ready? <laughs> so ready. Okay, we are ready. Okay. Uh, are you ready? Yes. Okay. I was, I was asking them. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so first, okay. we're going to do our episode one. Now, episode one, we have just how many? Is it four prizes? Four prizes. And that episode one is all one sponsor. Who is? Simon Games. Simon is sponsoring all first four prizes. All right. Thank now. you so, so very much, Simon. We really appreciate this. Chris, you want to grab our first name up? Do you want to say what it is? No, let's just bring it over. Okay. We'll see. Don't be spoilers, Chris. Here you go. Our first game. Now you can say it. <laughs> Zombicide. Undead or Alive. There you go. So Four one box. winner is going to win Zombicide Undead or Alive. What is the question people had to answer for this? So for this game and the next three games, the question is, what is your favorite Simon game? Oh, what's your favorite Simon game? Before we get there, so what's your favorite Simon game? It's Zombicide. Which one? Oh, no. Uh... Oh, Fail. No. What's Massive you? Dark. Thank Massive you. Darkness. That's what I was looking for. Black Plague. Black Plague and Massive Darkness. Oh, that's a tough one. Uh, it could be Massive Darkness or Cthulhu Death May Die. No, Rising Sun. Rising Sun. I'm going Ooh. Rising oh. Sun is my favorite sea monument. It's on side for me, I think. Which one? Uh, Black Plague. Black Plague. Oh, black, two Black Plagues, one Massive Darkness, and one Rising Sun. Okay. I do really like Massive Darkness, though. All right, Massive Darkness is awesome. Okay, anyways, now. Zombie side, under undead or alive, by far the hardest of the zombie sides. Uh, yeah. Jess, what was the winning, I guess, answer? The winning comments was Cthulhu Death May Die. Oh. We just got my copy to the table recently, and it has already been played several times. So this should sound familiar to someone. And and who's the winner? The winner is Adam Wagensback. Wagensback. It's quite the name. If I mispronounce anything, I apologize. Yes. <laughs> um, so congratulations, Adam. Congratulations. Adam, Adam Wagenspack. Adam, if you're here, let us know. Let us know. Okay. So uh, I guess we can put this aside. Let's put this aside. This, you're, you're, again, everybody's going to get brand new copies. These are mine. Are you talking about this drink? Someone's saying they're waiting for that drink to tip over. No, it's, it's not. Okay. All better time. Can we put it over here? No, hands off. Right, the, uh, next one? Yeah, okay, so our next number two. Our prize number two. Let's go, Chris. What do we got? What do we got? Rudolph. Rudolph, bring in prize. Eggnog and rum, that's it. Gizmos. All right. It is eggnogs and spice rum, specifically. All right, gizmos. So winner number two said, our hosts love Zombicide. And the winner is Antris. Antris? Antris. Is that a name? Antris, if you're watching, let us know. It could be. It could be a name. Gizmos. Did a, and this, this actually copy is brand new. We actually have multiple copies of Gizmos in this house. It happens sometimes in the media world. <laughs> All right, Chris, what's next? What's the next prize we're giving away? Gizmos is a fantastic game, by the way. Oh, another zombie side game. Night of the Living Dead. Now, we went from the hardest to the easiest. Yes. This is the easiest. That we cranked on the hard, great theme. Such a good theme. But on the hardest difficulty, if you're on, if you're an experienced zombie side player, you'll crush this. You'll crush this. Uh, but there's so many levels and there's so many ways to adjust to make it harder for yourself. 
People are saying how they really enjoy Gizmos. Gizmos is fantastic. Mm-hmm. You know, I didn't know Gizmos was a Simon game. Was it was it one of those that wasn't always a Simon game and then they started publishing it? I don't know, but Gizmos is fantastic. I just want to answer yes, I just want to answer a question. Yes. I just clarify. So someone said their YouTube handle is not their name. Yes, we've taken we would be taking the name and that when yeah. Jess is looking at the uh, I think yeah, so if, we'll we'll know when, that. When possible, we're we're gonna use both. Yeah. Uh, so so we, not to worry if there's do, duplicate names. Yeah, the, the program we use if we click on your name, it goes to your page and it says name and your it, the it handle and everything. Info. So anyways, here we go. Uh, yeah, so if you know your name and you know your handle and you know, and we're reading the questions too. So chances of somebody having your exact name and your exact answer? Probably slim. Yeah. Probably slim. Yeah. Probably yeah. slim. Yeah. All right. So do we read this answer yet? So oh, yes. favorite Simon game, Zombicide is popular. They say Zombicide looks amazing. And the winner is Palio Doom. Palio Doom? Palio Doom. Palio Doom. Palio Doom. Palio Doom. Pally, I don't know. You're, I'm going by what you say, Jess. I'm just Yay. repeating your words. Pally O Doom. Pally O Doom. Congratulations. Again, if anybody's on, let us know. Yeah, let us know if you're in the, watching live. So, congratulations, Night of the Living Dead. Great. Oh, game. we have. So, we have Shannon, who that's her husband. Her hubby. Oh, hey! hey. Congratulations. Congratulations! Shannon and your hubby. Is this a, <laughs> a surprise for him, Shannon? All right, what's next? Next we got Sugar Blast. Thanks. You feel free to announce this. You okay. can just run in there, do a slide across the table. <laughs> I, I you guys like Chris's, Chris's nose. What an upgrade up. from the last one. Yes. Yeah, last one. Just so you know, smells you guys, better. before lockdown, <laughs> we did a Christmas giveaway thing. We did live, but we did more live episodes. And Chris's red nose, uh, we upgraded yep. because the first time it was a poof off Brittany's slipper. Because <laughs> we couldn't find a So we just ripped nose. it off her slipper and we stuck to his face. <laughs> Smell like feet. Yeah. Okay, so sugar, sugar, blast. Sugar, blast. sugar Blast. Sugar Blast. The game that plays like Candy Crush. Everybody says yours is the best outfit. Thanks, Chris. Hey, Rudolph. That's awesome. <laughs> and I just want to say, so people are saying they love the vibe. Loving the vibe in the comments as well. Love how everyone is so excited for everyone who's winning and, you know, genuinely excited for people. So thank you so much for being awesome. Awesome. Brittany's great on the comments. How does it feel to be back on the comments? I feel so I love being back on the you, comments. You I love chatting better. with thank everyone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go. So this winner has actually never played a Simon game. So their comment is, honestly, I have never played a Simon game, but I keep picking up Root and looking at it. <laughs> so here's your chance. First of all, Root, Root is, is not a Simon game, but uh, <laughs> that's, okay. that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Because, you know, I looked at Root as well. I also don't have it. But uh, congratulations. Who was, who's the and winner? The winner is Shannon Van Grit. Sorry. Grinsman. Hold on. Shannon Van Grinsman. Isn't that the person whose husband who won? I'm wondering. Oh! I think your husband won. So, I think... Backtrack, we, backtrack, backtrack. Back 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 I can't. There's too many comments. <laughs> too backtrack. Much. Shannon, yeah. Well, so, you and your husband each won something. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey. sugar blast for Shannon and... What did her husband win? Was it Undead or Alive? Family win. win. Which one? Night of the Dead. Living Dead. Wow. Oh, congratulations yeah. to both of you. Well, lucky household. Do you have any yeah. pets who enter? <laughs> <laughs> All right. What uh, a holiday. Yeah, it's so exciting. Okay. We're so trying to keep up with the comments. They're going bananas. Episode two. Episode two. Episode two. Episode two. Oh, we're on episode two. Episode two. Oh, before we go on to episode yep. two, though. Before we go on to episode two, we're going to announce our first bonus gift. Now, you have until I give you a different question <clears throat> to answer, but it's going to be the first one who gives me the correct answer. And we'll have multiple questions. But the first answer is, or the first question is, and this is the prize itself for, for grabs. <gasps> You're gonna copy of Funko Harry Potter. Now, me and Brittany just gave this a board game copy seal of approval. This was the first Funko game we ever played, and we contacted mm-hmm. Funko and told them that, hey, your game got a seal of approval, and they were like, well, great, we want to, we want to give one away to somebody. I was like, well, that's super, super generous, Funko Games. So this, since this is the one we gave a seal to, this is the one they gave us to give away. Again, this is mine, you'll get a brand new copy. So, here's the question. Now, since we want to reward people who are watching, we also want to reward people who watch the show. So, if you, if nobody gets the first question in like a few episodes, we'll give another question, then we'll go on to the next round. Okay, so our first question is... Someone says the answer is Batman. (laughs) All right. So the question is, the question is, 
In our 24 videos, and this is a funny question because Brittany doesn't even know the answers. <laughs> Everyone's uh, giving answers already. The answer's Harry. In, in, our, it. in our 24 videos, our 24 video giveaway, that's the test if you watched and how much you watched and how much you paid attention to. Because I can tell you, Brittany missed this. I was also there and I did not. So we're going to see this here yeah. as a reminder. So, what game, in all these episodes, Brittany said that she learned how to play uh, photosynthesis and she did terribly. But she did promise to learn to play one of the other games that we showed in our collection. What game did Brittany say she was going to learn to play? For the record, she has yet to learn to play this. Because I've already forgotten. So if you could help me remember, that would be great. Because the only one who knows the answer is Mark. <laughs> All right. So that's the question. That was just, that's just going to stay there. And uh, Brittany, if you see the right answer come up. First of all. Oh, Binding of Isaac was actually Jess. Was was like, oh, sorry, we got one. We got a winner. I'll finish the room. That's wow. it. Donald Holy crap. Brown. Donald's. Wow. Congratulations. Well, Donald, so consider yourself a winner. Uh, Britt, can you record yeah, Donald's name? Up. Oh, Jess, you record it. Can you, can somebody record Donald's name. Okay, Six got it. Screen cap. You got yeah. it? All right. I don't so know how to take a screen cap. Record that. We'll figure what it out. Done, sir. It's okay. We have this video. We'll come back and see. Can we'll come back. We can watch the. You have a sticky. Just use your sticky notes. You get. Come on. I'm going to hook pretty up here. Yeah, if you We're going to hook up pretty We're going to just got this all taken care of. Uh, While just like Mark is doing that, we are yeah. going oh, to oh, announce oh. the game publisher yes. of the next Great. game that people could be winning. And it is by Smirk and Dagger. Keep um, going. They have a lot of games, I think. And the game that they're going to win is Chris. Bam. The Spill. So, the Spill. With more enthusiasm, Chris. The Spill. The Spill. The Spill. The spill. <laughs> this spill looks great. Now, spill is one of those I'm very jelly because we don't have. So, if you see this, she, why did we get so blurry all of a sudden? I what happened? I think paper. Brittany did this. What did I do? Did the paper do this? Why are we so blurry? The paper did it. Anyways, so we're blurry. I'm sure the camera will fix itself in time. If we don't, we'll go, I'll go wipe, do a little wipey wipe, and we'll fix it right up. I don't know why it was even an autofocus option. <laughs> Anyways, this spill, if you can't see it, is what this white paper says. I'm going to take this off the screen in case this causes the problems. Yeah, there it is. Hey, <laughs> for some reason, <laughs> that causes the problem. This so, the more. spill from Smirk and Dagger uh, is, yeah, one of those games I'm very jelly about. And uh, so it's it's the theme is like you're cleaning up the ocean. It's an oil spill, and you're cleaning oil spills before it gets out of control. And there's like this tower. It's, it's, it's a neat looking game. Look it up. Anyways. So this is our prize. Who are, what was the question for this one? So for episode two, there's actually three games that are being given away. Three games. And the question for each of these games is of the classic board games. So, you know, Monopoly, Risk, Clue, et cetera. Which do you still play or have the fondest memories of? Mm. And the person mm. who. Before you say that, Brittany, All was right. yours? I didn't hear the question. Brittany wasn't paying attention. Jess, it's yours. Classic board games. Which do you still play or have fond memories of? What did you play as a kid? You don't play anything now, so what do you have for um, Um uh, Chris? Risk. Thinking... Risk. Chris has fond memories of Risk. I agree. Risk. Risk. Like... We played a lot of Monopoly. Do not have fond memories. No. I like I... Clue. I, don't do you... I really like Clue I like... and I like Game Clue's of Life. Clue is good. Clue's good. Yeah, but no one will play yeah. with me for Game of Life. Yeah, that's was a reason. For Monopoly. I'd rather play Monopoly. I have fond memories of Monopoly, but I feel like you're friends at the beginning and then you're enemies at the end. When so, I, for certain fact, people, you just like never trade stuff with. I, I played Monopoly with my nephew over and over again. And what I used to do is, if he was broke, oh, we'd mortgage all this stuff. And I was like, you know what? Since I'm the banker, I'll let hold, you take a loan out of the bank. Hold on, with hold interest. on. I've made a mistake. What was the mistake? People are correcting me, but I'm trying to find it. What was the mistake? Oh, no. I said that so someone announced it first. Yes. I'm sorry, Donald. You did not win. Oh, Jamie won. Who was that? Jamie no, won. So Jamie. Oh, good, good catch, people. Sorry, sorry Donald. It, it flies so fast. I'm so sorry, Donald. Donald is so chance for Okay, so, so Jamie Mersnack, Jamie Mersnack, won first. All right, all right, all right. So I'm going to quickly. You know what, Donald? We're gonna, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll ask. No, make no promises, but I'll ask Funko, see if they'll send you a copy. We'll see. But uh, Jamie, we for sure, you can't make any won. promises on that. All right. So. It's going to be tricky. This Can be we tricky. just say thank you, everyone, for yes. being so honest about that and helping us out? Because sometimes these things just fly so fast. Brittany's doing her best. She's doing her best. Anyways. But she's awesome. Awesome. Just going, everyone's on fire. It's awesome. it's funny, funny thing about Risk is um, I loved Risk. I played one, went to a cabin once, and this is me in my early 20s. Went to a cabin. It was me and my girlfriend at the time. Uh, 
ironically, with my ex-girlfriend and her new boyfriend, who was a friend, of, who was my ex-friend. It was a mess. <laughs> anyway, we were at a, we were at a cottage. It was great. My ex-girlfriend had a fit because she was doing so bad at risk. She locked herself in the bathroom and had a hissy fit in the bathroom. <laughs> 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 nutty, <laughs> nutty. That's nutty. That's nutty behavior. Okay, so I don't. My my fondest one is probably Clue. Uh, my memories? No, fondest memories is Monopoly. Because I played mine with my nephew so much. I'm going with Monopoly. Even though he lost all the time, he made me laugh. We played wrong apparently the entire time. Everybody plays wrong. But as long as you have a good time, that's all that matters. Okay, what was the winning answer? So before we announce the winning answer, just a reminder: the game is the spill, and they answered, "I have some fond memories of Clue." And that was that was James Campbell. James Campbell, congratulations. congratulations! We don't have a box for you, James Campbell, but we are going to get you a copy of The Spill. Congratulations! All right, what's our next game? What's our next game? What's our next game? The next game is by Crowd. Crowd the next games. two games are actually by Crowd, and the first one is come on, Chris. Well, come on, Rudolph. <laughs> that's it, isn't it? Nope. Not in the order oh, that's that's Brittany's doing. Brittany's doing it. Ganesha. Ganesha. We have a playthrough of this if you guys want to watch how it plays. But who won Ganesha? Did we already know? We didn't do this. Who we, don't know yet. Just, we just started. So, Ganesha, their comment was, I don't play it now, but fond of Monopoly. Okay, and who said that? Aaron Moore. Wise words. Aaron Moore, congratulations. You're good. <laughs> You're getting Ganesha. Did not spill my drink. It's so close. Oh, it's so close. Close. I'm on eggnog energy. Okay. Can I just say? Congratulations. Uh, John from the comments said, run, run, Rudolph. And now that's all I can hear in my head. <laughs> okay, our next game from Crowd Games. Ooh, like Deep it. State. Woo Who's going to get a copy of Deep State? This was, Chris, we, we did, you were in Yes, we did. It's awesome because you you did. it did not go well for you it did. in this game. You sure? I remember you complaining a lot about it. What no. when we did our deep state, I set it up for four players because Kayla was supposed to come and then she didn't come last minute. So we played three players but with a four-player setup. Yeah. So we played the game right, but with the wrong setup. So it kind of changed things at the end, but the game still played great. So you thought I won. I don't think you did, Chris. I think you I need, need, need to go back and watch the video. <laughs> All right. So uh what was the wing? What was the question again? Oh, so fond Monopoly are classic sorry. board games. So what fine. do you have fond mem memories of? And some examples were Monopoly, Risk and Clue. And the winning comment was, will not touch these games. Going but bankrupt is not a fond memory of mine. <laughs> <laughs> and the person who commented this is Wellaby C. You get to win Deep State. Wellaby C? Wellaby C. Oh, all right. Again, apologies for any misrepresentations. Here it is. Do something, Rudolph. Okay, oh, yes, we take this off the board. Uh, okay, so we have some new viewers that are logging on. We're getting the question again. Do the winners have to be watching the live stream specifically? No. You will have two weeks to get in contact with us, and we're going to put all that information in the description, not the comments, okay? So in the description of this video is where you're going to find the info, how to contact us, and then we're going to verify that win. Okay, I got my, I got our next prize down here. It's our next bonus prize. But since the first one got given away so fast, we've got to wait. We've got to wait it up. We but understand that we're dealing with the different time zones. So thank you so much for yeah. asking those questions. We love clarifying for you. So this, is our, this is our third one. So last one of the episode two. All right. right. No, we are done uh, episode two. Oh, we're on episode three? We yes. are on. I went fast, I know. Okay, we're, we're on episode three. We have two giveaways for episode three. And who's our first sponsor? 25th Century Games. 25th Century Games. And the question was? The question not was, yet, not yet, not yet. You're crazy. what game has a special significance for you? Be it with a friend or significant other. Ah, oh yeah, we answered this on the episode. We said Terraforming Mars. No, did we? Um, or Marvel Legendary. I didn't hear the question. <laughs> for me and Je for me and Britt was uh, Marvel Legendary. Oh yeah, that was the episode where I think we said uh, it was either Zombie Side or Marvel Legendary. And then and then me and Jess said it was because I Ether said uh, Ether Fields was our game. Um, Claustrophobia was our game. Oh, me and Britt, it Terraform was either Mars. Terraforming Mars or Marvel Legendary. Margin, yeah. Was it margin? I said margin. Margin, I said, margin, I, margin I'm mixing words together because right, I'm and reading and chat. So this one we got two games. We have one of them. It's and Oh My Brain and, and Longboard. Longboard? Yes. We have Longboard. We do not have Oh My Brain. So somebody's gonna get a copy of this and another box that does not look like this. <laughs> okay, now what was the winning answer? So this is a bit of a long one. So you may recognize your comment if you are watching. So the winning comment was Magic the Gathering is the game that is the most special to me. I know it's not a Great board game. game, but it's what showed me the depth, complexity, and fun that could come with you. 
can come with just some cardboard and the person across from you. Mm -hmm. And oh. the person who commented this, are you waiting? Oh, sorry. Go. You finish this, and then I'll go into mine. <laughs> the winning person is Jared Haworth. Jared Haworth? How Haworth. Hayworth? Haworth. Hayworth? Hayworth. Is he There's no say. Y. There's no Y. Haworth. Ha with an L? It's H A. So a ha. Haworth. Ha like a laugh. Like ha Haworth. 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 All right. It was the first thing I already forgot. Jared. Jared, Jared, Jared Haworth. Congratulations. You just got yourself a copy of Longboard and Oh My Brain from 25th Century Games. Again, we'd like to thank our sponsors. Thank you, Chris. Do your job, Chris. Yes, thank you. <laughs> okay, so I just want to make a comment. Thank you so much to Bruiser for reminding us that, yes, our Sick Kids link is still live. Yes. We are trying to make awareness for the Sick Kids Hospital here in Toronto that helps uh, children from all over Canada and North America, actually, because they specialize in so many different things. Um, so if you can, because we're all in different positions, if you can, um, any every little bit helps. Uh, and if you can't, that is okay, too. But thank you so much. Yes. The link is still available in the previous videos because this is a new uh, live link stream. So you won't find it in this description, but I will add it later if you want to do that after this video uh, has gone live. Yeah, so you can just go to any of our other videos. I'll and, keep it open for a couple of days. Yeah, and so any of our 24 videos will have the link. Yeah. This video should have had the link, but somebody screwed up the sound, Chris. <laughs> and I just want to say thank you for everyone who has uh, donated to the Sick Kids link. We appreciate it so, so very much, and, and thank you very much. And we've yes. some special news about yeah. that later. Yeah, we'll, get, we'll give an yes. update on yeah, where right. we are with that in uh, a little late in the episode. Yes. Great. Right. So, so the uh, company that is flying this game is, is Renegade Game Studios. Renegade Game Studios. Chris has jumped the gun here. You're supposed to announce the sponsor first. You kept grabbing. There's an order. You're grabbing. There's an order. <laughs> So, Renegade Game Studios sponsored the giveaway of My Little Pony's Adventures in uh, My Little Pony Adventures in Equestria. Now, if you do win this and you're looking for a how to play, you know who's got one? We do. That's right, right here at this table. It's a good one. It's a good one. Uh, okay, so what was the question for this episode? What game has a spe special significance for you? All right. Oh, we've already done. We've asked. This is the Okay, so what's yeah. the, what's the answer? What's the answer? So the winning comment is, I love the simplicity of Ticket to Ride and ease of entry for anyone. Mm. I play this with, with everyone to this day who visit me at home. I, we used to play Ticket to Ride until I played with Brittany and then I stopped. <laughs> She's a very finger pointer, very aggressive Ticket to Ride. Every one time. Too aggressive. Okay, it happened twice. <laughs> one time every Maybe time we times. played. And then never again. Because <laughs> we stopped playing. That's when it stops happening. Anyways, and who gave us that winning comment? Brisha oh. Pope's. Did you try to cut, cut, cut Jess off? I didn't mean to. Go ahead, say, say it again, Jess. The winner is, again, I apologize if I mispronounce this, Brisha Pote. Brisha Pote. That might be just sounds that Jess put together to make it up, but... No. Brisha Pote. Brisha Pote. Congratulations, Brisha, if we're saying that right at all. Uh, so you're going to get a copy of this. Remember, brand new copy, not this one. Chris. Thank you, Renegade. All right, who's our next? So this is from episode four. Oh, episode four. We're on episode four. Who's our and first sponsor? And our first sponsor is Roxley. Roxley. Thank you, Roxley. Roxley. There's only one giveaway in this one, and it is Roxley is sponsoring this. Chris is trying to be sly, but everybody can see what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> you can just get up and get it when we need it. That's what she was saying, so I get it. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Roxley is sponsoring a giveaway of Steampunk Rally Fusion. Good game. Now, Steampunk Rally Fusion is... A great game. I believe we got our seal, uh, board game coffee seal of approval. We did. Another board game coffee seal of approval uh, recipient that is coming to you. So you know it's good. You know it's good. We played this game once or twice, and Kayla loved it so much she ran out and got it. Yep, yep, she did. And if you're wondering where Kayla is, she she's taking care of our baby. Yes. Um, that's Kayla from down the street. It's the whole board game crew here tonight. Yep, everybody's in the house. Uh, and uh, Chris is probably came the closest to beating me in this game the most times, but never yet. Not so close though. So so, so close, but yet so far. I admit I'm actually undefeated in this so far. So I'm gonna play it again. My luck You're is just gonna burn it. Okay, I'm gonna burn it out. <laughs> no, but... we're not gonna burn your game, Roxley. Sorry. <laughs> so <laughs> I misspoke. What was a good game. So the question was, if you could pick pick anyone from history <laughs> to build a crazy race car contraption with, who would it be? Oh, who would it be for you guys? Anybody from history? I feel like I got distracted I, with the five o'clock show. From I, I, that's what I got distracted with too. I was gonna say I feel like I am already my answer's ruined because I've already read the response and I'm like, oh, I would do that. 
So I don't think I can answer. <laughs> Steve Jobs. Uh, Steve Jobs, eh? I yeah. think it would be so high tech and funky with one button. You know, I think I'm going to go with uh, Jesus. I'm assuming he'd be made out of wood. He's a carpenter. <laughs> Sure. Leonardo? <laughs> oh, that would be good. Cat Marvel? Yeah, Cat Marvel. The turtle? The turtle. <laughs> okay. okay. So, anyways, that's right. What's the what's the winning answer? The winning answer is Da Vinci. Oh, Da Vinci. Oh, is it? You, you read that. that. <laughs> you don't even know who Leonardo Da Vinci is. <laughs> He's a turtle. He's, He's a, a ninja turtle. turtle. He's a ninja. <laughs> All right, and who gave us that answer? Caden John. Caden, John, congratulations. congratulations. You're getting a copy of Steampunk Fusion Rally. Rudolph, get this. <laughs> Deliver that to Caden right away. Guess what I found. No! Oh, Why are you even going? No. <laughs> you should be in theater mode. So, next episode, there are. This is just left never four. <laughs> this is episode five. Oh, there right. are four winners. Everybody is winning the same game. Oh, four winners. Woohoo! Oh, Can I just say that some people in the comments yeah, have yeah, been yeah. watching the How to Plays in anticipation of winning? Oh. Which I think is so much fun. Good thing. <laughs> so, right. the producer is Floodgate Games. Well, Floodgate Games, and they are giving us, Chris, you want to announce it? Sagrada. Sagrada. Yay! Designed by a good friend of the show, yes. Daryl Andrews. That's yes. the, no excitement. <laughs> Cricket. Cricket. <laughs> Daryl, we love you. Daryl, I love you. I'm sorry, I'm trying to read and like process what's going speak. on. Anyways, I so, thought you were gonna say something that you said in every single episode. Every time you said Daryl's name, who was it? A friend of show who we say every other episode. He's come a lot. He's come up a lot <laughs> on these on these. Uh, I love Daryl. All right. So, uh, anyways, Floodgate is sponsoring this giveaway of Sagrada. Not only this giveaway, four giveaways. So four people are winning a copy of Sagrada. Great game. Here's a suggestion. This is a great game. Play it as is, and then when you're ready, buy the expansions. They add more. The expansions are also okay. fabulous. Like I've we we started with the expansions, so it's hard for us to go back. Yeah. Because because this is a great game. Kayla loves this. She another game that Kayla ran out and bought right away. Mm -hmm. So okay. So Jess, what was the question? What game did you judge by its cover? One look, and you thought. I'm going to hate this, and then it turned out you were completely wrong. Terraforming Mars and Viticulture. Those are both my answers. <laughs> Britt? I would say the exact same. Exact same. <clears throat> yeah. 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 I, I have a terrible memory, and I don't remember. Mark basically is like, we're playing this game, and I'm like, okay. It's not even in the box anymore. It's not even in the box. Anymore. It's on the table, and I see it, and I'm like, okay, I guess we're playing this game. I'm going to change the Gaia Project. Oh, that's yeah. Oh, I yeah, you, you, yeah. you want me to buy it, I'm like, but it it's, looks so plain. Like, I'm used to seeing Seamal with all the... The miniatures and everything going on. Oh, like, it's a different fun fact. Let's play it out. Gaia Project. After I edited all 24 videos, I realized oh, yeah. hey, Gaia Project's not in the library because Gaia Project isn't ours. It's Chris's. It's the only game Chris owns. <laughs> <laughs> but he keeps it here. Three now. Three. Oh, we got the kites. We got the. Oh yeah, kites. Oh right. The kites got the the mountain mountain game. Yes, from Funko. Yes. Kites ah. from Floodgate, actually. Yes. And then the mountain, Rocky Mountain. Uh, I forgot what it's called. Thunder Mountain. Thunder Mountain. Thunder, Thunder Mountain. Mountain from Funko and Gaia Project. Yes. Now you bought the other two to play with your nieces. Yes. Not Gaia Project. So <laughs> uh, his first game, Chris was like, I want to buy a game. I want to buy a game. And I was like, get Gaia Project. I, I heard good things. And Chris was like, eh, it looks bad. I don't want to buy it. I was like, just buy it. And it was, it's expensive. It's expensive. Yeah, it was too. I was like, this is like one of the more expensive games in the listing. And but now he, he loves it. So we bought it. The it's insert, awesome. everything for it. Yeah. It's all pimped out. Right. Anyways, yeah. we're not talking about your guy, like Chris. Just sit focus. We're here talking about Sagrada. Now, what is what was the winning answer? Remember, four winners. Four winners. Okay, so the first, the first one, the first winning answer was. This one's a long one. Okay. When I first looked at the cards for my base Dominion game back in 2010, the artwork did not impress me very much. After 14 expansions and the 15th on the way, I still don't find much of the art to be great. There are some outliers. Mostly though, the art is okay to sometimes good, and some are just plain bad. However, my wife and I love Dominion. It is a fantastic game. You do not play Dominion for the beauty of the game components. You play it because the gameplay, strategy, and variability make it a lot of fun to play. That was a, in, that was a really Thank you thought for out the time comment. Right? Yeah. All right, who said, clearly, whoever said that, you know, if you came on there and your answer was like Dominion. You know that wasn't you. <laughs> <laughs> so who was, who was this one? So the winner is V. Williams. Congratulations, Dean Williams. You are getting one of four copies of Sagrada. Next. Can I? Next. Oh, oh no, Brittany, no, 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 I'll wait. Screw Brittany. Well, there's, there's <laughs> three there's, more winners. There's, oh, I will wait till this three episode's done. Okay, number two. I thought Cthulhu Wars would be all show, but it's a great game. 
Oh, I actually saw that comment when I, when I was going through the comments. I saw that one. Now, oh yeah, if you don't notice, like I commented, I like I recommented on some comments, but I spent so much time editing video and working, and it's Christmas. It's like madness. It's like whenever, I could, twenty-four videos. Whenever I could pick up my phone and answer a random, I would basically you know what I would do. So I would answer all the I won. I'd go to the comment section on on YouTube because it separates, puts all your comments in one spot, and I'd scroll like a <laughs> ding, and I just respond to that one. And another thing I was dealing with was scammers and trying to yeah, get them off the that comments. That's a lot of our fun time. <laughs> so, anyways, who are we? What's the winning? So the person who commented okay. that and is a winner of a second copy is Scott Humpert. 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 Scott, congratulations! You got yourself a copy of Sagrada. You know, we've only had I think two people here who have watched and one. That are actually currently live. Oh, I need to be pronounced. How did I? How do I say it? Oh yeah, Cthulhu. Uh, Cthulhu. Is that Cthulhu. right? Cthulhu. How did I say it? I have no idea, but I was gonna. I was just about to ask you, like, Jess, can you say what that game is over there? <laughs> you... I may have said Cthulhu if I did. I oh yes, yeah. it's Cthulhu. It's Cthulhu. Cthulhu. I didn't even notice. <laughs> oh yeah, because I haven't played the game. I haven't played the game. And can we just say there was a comment way back, and I can't find it now, but people are commenting on our towers of board games because we've run out of rooms. And yes, it would be very fun to run through and smash through those towers. As long as the boxes didn't get ruined. These are all Simon games. Yeah. yeah. Well, we, this is our Simon wall. And not even all of them. We, we're actually all of them. looking at a stack right here of Simon <laughs> games. If, so. when, if when we had to answer the question, what is your favorite Simon game, you notice us all looking back here because it's like, what, yeah. what, what game do I like the best? And you know, one game that's technically Simon as well, which isn't in that pile, that pile, or that pile, is uh, Munchkin Dungeon, oh. which is in the closet. Anyways, um, number oh, three. Number three. Winner. Uh, very short and sweet. They just said Caverna. Caverna. Oh, this is we're talking about ugly boxes, right? No. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Ugly boxes. Yes. No, same question. Ugly yeah. boxes. Caverna. Who said Caverna? S Sabunu. Sabunu. Congratulations, Sabunu. Sabanu. 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 <laughs> I think you, it's Sabanu. You just got it. I can't see it, so I'm just going. I'm just trusting Jess. <laughs> Congratulations. You just got yourself a copy of Sagada. Okay, we got one more. One more copy one of Sagada. Of Sagada. Away. And I'd like to thank Floodgate again. And this is such a pretty box. This the that question was not in reference to this box. <laughs> no, no, it's because on that episode, because I'm like, had, why would we say that? This it, is such a pretty the box. Question, the questions were based on the episode, right? The that's right. That's right. And the episode we had, uh, I think, viticulture and terraform Mars, I think, or there was oh, on uh, Australia, I think, or something. Yeah. Those all came up. And Stronghold Games does a lot of brown games. This floodgate this technically beautiful. does the exact. I guess does the exact it's opposite. So colorful. All right. Okay. Last copy. It is going to the person who commented, Castles of Burgundy for this one. It just looks lame, but it is a favorite of mine. Yes, Castle of Burgundy, not the prettiest, except for the new version. Ooh, yeah. The new version that's from right. uh, GameFound. Whoo, that's on fire. The game's on fire. It looks so good. We're giving one of those away this uh, today. Hang in there. Anyway, winner of this game, Cupson. Cupsin. Cupsin. Congratulations, Cupsin. You just got yourself the last copy of Sagrada. We have no more of those. Let's get rid of them. Thank you again, Floodgate. I feel we're like on the this. Next episode. We're on to the next episode. Episode? Which episode are we on now? Episode six. Episode six. Boom, boom. It's sponsored by Elf Creek Games. Oh, Elf Creek. Great stuff. They make great stuff. Yes, thank you, Elf Creek. Thank you, Elf Creek. Okay. Uh, if my eyes... Thank you, Floodgate. For the Sagrada games, thank you very much. And my, if you notice my eyes kind of going there right here, it's because we have a monitor there and our camera's here. You gotta remember to look at this and not that, but it's so tempting because I want to read your comments. So people are making comments about um, their <laughs> wallets and how painful their wallets are because of all the games. And yes, we understand your pain. As you can see, we have towers and you can't even see the other half of our. <laughs> but you saw you saw every game that we have in our collection. Well, not every game. Well, not, okay, actually, fun fact. We have like stacks that came in that day. Since uh, we recorded, uh, we had well, we had a few games come in. We had uh, Frostpunk came in, followed by, uh, which we have an unboxing released yesterday, I think, was a Aeon Trespass Odyssey. That came in. That's a big box. That game looks, whoo, on BGG, it's rated as a, you know, the weight. One oh, yeah. The weight is like 4.56 out of 5. <laughs> so uh, that one looks like a difficult one. That's for you. You can learn how to play that one. Um, <laughs> and so what did I said, yeah, we got Frostpunk, we got Aeon's Odyssey. Oh, and we got the another copy of Simon's Animation Collection. That all came in. And I, I feel like there was one more that came in that I'm completely I, about. 
I'm sure it did. Anyways, all right. Oh, we're on to the next episode. Do you want to No, no, no. I keep wanting to just do this. Okay, what's our next? Doesn't matter. What next, is? we are episode six, Elf Creek. Elf Games. Creek is sponsoring this giveaway. And, and oh, I can't see it on the back. Atlantis Rising. What'd you say? I was this like, I'm seeing me, the back. I can't see the front. I don't know what it's no. called. This game made me have sweaty palms. It was so intense. I never played this. <laughs> Gosh, games. it was so intense. It looks great. Okay, so. Question is. What's the question? Is your gaming group competitive or cooperative? Then tell us which game of that genre you like best. I think we're a competitive group, except for Jess, who likes cooperative. I love cooperative games. I love we play a mix, too. though. We do play a mix. What's your favorite cooperative? Uh, I like a bunch. Like, I like Jaws the Lion is really good. Etherfield is really good. Massive Darkness is really good. There's just, like, a lot of good those are, those are cooperative games. Things. I do those are the cooperative long ones, games. though. Uh, those are all seals of approval. Harry Potter battling Hogwarts. Harry Potter? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what we're playing right now. <laughs> We're on box six right now. Yay. Out of seven. We've played that game to box seven so many times. Every, never and box seven that. always beats us. We're like, you know, let's put this away for a bit. <laughs> but that's a great game. What's what's yours? I think I thought Terraforming Mars would have been ours, right? For competitive? For free competitive? Uh I don't know. There's so many good games. I can't comment on Atlantis Rising. I haven't, I haven't played it. I haven't played it. Um there's also a comment it. of uh, oh. All right, so what is the winning? Answer. The winning answer said, our group plays both, but probably a majority of what we play winds up being co-op. Horrified and Burgle Bros 2 are strong neck-and-neck -neck contenders for our favorites. And the winner... I haven't played either of those, but I do want to play Horrified. Less interested in Burgle Brothers. The winner is Tim Bird. Tim Bird. Congratulations, Tim. Woo! You are getting a copy of Atlantis Rising. Look at that thing. It's a heavy. Thank you, Elf Creek. You, when you get a heavy box, it's about that size in the middle. You know what it it's in? It's uh, seal of approval by Dice Tower, so you know it's good. It's David good. Brown, no, the second trivia question has not been asked yet. But you know we can't. No, you know what? Let's wait till we're halfway. Episode twelve. Episode twelve. We'll ask the next question. And we are starting episode seven giveaways. Episode seven. And there who's are two. Our first sponsor. The first sponsor is Twenty Fifth Century Games. 25th Century Games. They've sponsored already. We've already had 25th Century Games. Oh, this is a game we're telling you about. Garden Bow. It's the pre flower game. Oh, I'm afraid about the, the camera getting all out of focus again. So, Garden Bow, we don't have it, so we have a little sheet of paper. This is Garden Bow on it. And so, somebody is going to be in that. So, we're a little jelly. It's a very pretty flowery game. Now, I, I was kind of zoomed through um, the, the, the uh, Board Game Geek. He did uh, he did a, like a how to play of it, and I think it's like seeds, and then you, you it's like a tile stacking game, and it looks interesting. You're making really pretty flowers grow. It's like the kind of own kind of gardening I'd want to do. What's the question? <laughs> so the question is, what's the most shameful game on your shelf of shame? Scythe, scythe for sure. You don't have a shelf. I'm the only one here with a shelf. <laughs> scythe. Like I've played I just play your games. I don't have a shelf. <laughs> <laughs> you no shame. You, you shameful? You share the shelves. Um. Uh, the Dinosaur Island, I think it was, wasn't it? You played Dinosaur no, Island and Dinosaur the, World. This the, is the second time I've had to remind you one, of it. The volcano one. I can't remember the name right now. Fireball Island? Yes, that's it. Fireball Island. I needed that. You know, I mean, there's no that? dinosaur in that at all. I'm sorry. I'm so distracted. But yes, but that if, one. If I was me. to use your shelf, though, I'm stuck between bones 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 one wow. too many bones two, bones? too many bones oh. yeah it's a, good, it's a good pick it's a good pick or the or to go or to go it's done oh it's done so just a reminder whoever commented this is winning garden bow garden bow which we don't have a box for because that means we don't have a copy uh and the winner commented star of acarios and steampunk rally fusion i read the rule books twice and did not play. You gotta play Steampunk Grand Fusion. It's easy to play and fun, fun game. So fun. I haven't played the other one, so I don't know. And the winner is Matt Roche. Or Matt, Roche. Matt Roche. Roche or Roche? You are a winner. You. Congrats. Ooh. Yeah. Is it Rocha? I don't know. Sure. Roche is a Portuguese name. That's why I don't know. What <laughs> am I going with? No, it's Roche. Roche. I can't see it. All right. Well, Matt, congratulations. You are getting a copy of Garden Bow. Garden Bow from 25th Century Games. Thank you, 25th. And thank you. Matt. <laughs> All right. Are we okay. episode seven? Eight? We are on episode seven still. And what's the next one? The Ooh. next sponsor is Monolith. Monolith. Ooh. So you know Monolith is gonna be a big box. It's gonna be a big box. Ooh. Oh it's, it's, yeah. it's our game. Well Brittany entitled yeah. our bro game. This is your bro, bro game. game. It's claustrophobia sixteen forty three. Now claustrophobia 
absolutely fantastic board game coffee seal of approval. Me and Chris are the ones who play this game at this table. Uh, but we like we take this to conventions. It's a huge box. <laughs> it's a very we fun. take it. We play it at conventions. We, we've taken days off yep. just to play it, and it's great because one side plays the villains, like the demons. Yeah. The other guy, guys plays the heroes. So it's like a two-player dungeon crawler. It's fantastic. Yeah, it's always been pretty good. Like yeah, I mean, we go back and forth to wins. I could have that last game upset me so much because I got cocky. And I was like, yeah, I'm good. You said you sure? Yeah, I was like, yeah, I'm good. And you're like, you just moved in the room. I was like, oh, I'm done. <laughs> yeah. I knew it was bad. As soon as I let you go, I was like, no, I'm bad. I was like, are you sure? Are you what, really what, was was the, what was the question? What was the question? So this is the same question as last one. Most shameful game on your shelf oh, of right. shame. And the comment is Scythe. So hey, sad. Scythe. We share a shame. <laughs> who, who else said Scythe? Uh, and the winner is Wise Guy. Wise Guy. Congratulations, Wise Guy. What Class a wise 1643 question. is yeah. yours. Enjoy. I remember everybody who's won, we will have uh, directions or instructions in the, the comment in the description of this video as soon as we're done recording, as soon as it's available for you to see uh, later. Uh, but basically, it's going to be contact me, Mark, at boardgamecoffee.com, and there'll be some steps you have to go through. We'll confirm you, we're we'll confirm there. us, we'll verify everything, and then we'll get you, we'll gather your information to ship your game. Remember, we'll never ask for any money. No money is necessary. All right, send this off. Uh, I just want to. I want to answer a question. So Eduardo or Eduardo Loza asked the question: What happens if someone doesn't respond on the two weeks, or if it's not from the proper we are country? Going, we will try to. Uh, well, nobody from the wrong country is getting picked because Jess can see which country they're from. So if it, so, it won't happen. That's why we asked everybody. To yeah. answer so if you said like us or canada but you're from say germany then that means you just lied and we're gonna, we're gonna have to pick somebody else <laughs> but uh, after two weeks we'll try our best to reach out to you and if we can't get a hold of you then we're just going to give it to somebody else and that's happened before with our christmas giveaways we have to, we, ha we have reached out to people who have never responded and we'll give their gifts away to somebody else but yeah. everybody always got something so we don't we don't keep them <laughs> they, no, they, they go away. They, they still go out to yeah. people. Okay. Now, uh, well, so Panda Paradise wanted to say that her, um, my son shook his head and <laughs> said, these people need to play safe. <laughs> I agree with you. I agree. They've been called it. I agree. Okay. So what's episode? That's awesome. Episode eight. Episode eight. And there is going to be one giveaway for this episode. It's explored. I can I tell explored. by the box. Yeah. So you guys probably know, this is a prototype. So you're going to be getting something a lot prettier than this. But it's going to look something like this. But let's prototype it. This is the Teberu. Somebody's going to get a copy of the Teberu. Now, if you don't know, the Teberu is a magical system where it's a computerized board with sensors on it that reads where your minis are. It attaches to your iPads, your iPhones, whatever you have, any digital devices you have at home. You'll send a, a signal to it, and it basically d DMs the game for you. So it'll take care of the game. You can just jump in. Like, guys, you've never played Bad Karmas. You two? I could give I you the Bad Karmas. You've played the Bad Karmas? Yeah, I played You gave me a little run through. Yeah, really? It's funny. Yeah. I don't even remember. But I can give you, like, Jess, Jess never played this. I can give you this, and you just go through it, and it'll teach you how to play as you go. That's like, awesome. you don't need to know anything. It'll say, put your character on the board. Okay, there you go. Here's your cards. If you have any questions about what cards do, you tap on the area, and it'll explain how that works. It's fantastic. So, uh, so you're going to get some, some lucky winner is going to get the Teberu and the Bad Karmas, which is the, uh, the game they launched their Kickstarter with. Now, the Teberu has a, other, uh, more games coming out for it. Now, you don't need to buy the Teberu system all the time. You just, once you have the Teberu, the base, the other games, you just buy the, the parts that go on top of the Teberu, and you're good to go. That's it. So think of it as like a console. So if you have like a PlayStation, you buy games for it. Same thing with the Teberu. Just buy games for it, sit on top. And they've made some great announcements. I can't sit in here because I know some behind the scenes info that I don't want to accidentally say information that's been, that has not been released versus information that has been. So what's the question? Who's going to win Teberu? So the question is, what game or game type would you like to see running on the Teberu? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. For me? It'd be like a D and D type of thing. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. so, I actually have like a dungeon master like walk me through an adventure. So like I open a door and they're like, and this happens. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Because we had a demo of that for Zombie Side when they were at uh, oh, it so Gen Con. It was so good. You open the door and like the zombies show up, and then you hear screaming from the back room. And you get to the back room, and there's a character. And there's it's all animated on the like there's cutscenes that are animated and voice voice acted yeah. on the iPad. So you look at it, you're like, oh my god, that's what's happening in the room. And then you go back and you play on the game, and then something happens, like bing bing, and you everybody has their iPhones with them or their Android devices, whatever, and that's your tableau. So if I want to give Jess a weapon, I can go like, Boop, here's, here's the shotgun. You can have it. Or if there's a vote, we all vote secretly on our phones. It's fantastic. It's a fantastic system. Anyways, so what was the winning answer? The winning answer was Dune Imperium. Dune Imperium. Hey, we have it somewhere. It used to be there. It's lost now in the stacks. <laughs> we <And> reorganized. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah, winner said that. is Sky Dragoon. Sky Dragoon, congratulations. You are getting a copy of the Tebru with the bad karmas. Now you're gonna get a, I don't even have a copy myself. So you're gonna get a brand new copy once they fulfill. So you're gonna get a Kickstarter thing. There'll probably be some extra information we'll have to get from you, but I'll organize that when you reach out. All right. Any comments? I, I, What's going yeah, on so I just want to mention, I don't know if I said this earlier or not, because I'm just trying to keep up with all the comments, but we actually have people on here from different um time zones and some people it's like two three in the morning there I appreciate and they are still joining it. us to be here today so that is so very cool that people have chosen to not sleep and be with us tonight <laughs> I appreciate, it. I appreciate, it. I appreciate it. what is next episode I turn my nose. nine on episode nine i'm getting thirsty there are sure two two winners for this one ah 21st century games first one is 21st century games because uh, chris jumped the did, I, I, the sponsor wasn't even announced, Chris. Come on. The on. sponsor, right. the first sponsor, because there are two sponsors for this one. First sponsor, 25th Century Games. I had to take this to the inside of the box. Oh, oh no, I made a mess. Right, that's why I took this to the inside of the box. You get an now, unripped copy. Yes. Yes. Well, the box is <laughs> an unripped copy of paper. Nobody's getting it this. We, we so, had a comment saying if they win, they would love us to sign the box, but we actually oh, never see the copies of the boxes don't. come straight from the publishers. Uh, yeah, so they get shipped right to you, brand new to your door from their warehouse. So yeah, we don't actually get a copy because it'd be fun to sign them. That would be cool. But we got a copy of Christmas Lights here. And the other game you'll be getting is Holly Jolly. So one winner will be getting Christmas Lights and Holly Jolly. Now, we don't have Holly Jolly but uh, the card artwork looks cool. I looked it up after 25th Century Games said they were giving us away. They're sponsoring this. So again, thank you for our sponsors, 25th Century Games. What is the question, Jess? So the question was, what prototype in this video would you like us to do a playthrough of? No, I don't remember what the prototype was. Do you remember what teams did in that don't. video? I it was don't. like a box of a whole bunch of stuff. I don't remember. I don't. I don't even remember. It was like some, of, some of the prototypes aren't even prototypes anymore. All right, what was the winning... So for the winner of this, the comment was shark feeding frenzy could be hilarious and nicely paired with any crazy shark based movie like Sharknado. Yeah. Wayfinders <laughs> looks like it could actually be a cool game if all the pieces you need are there. Yeah. Interesting. Yes. We have Wayfinders. Don't know if all the pieces are there because it was a demo copy that got thrown that got handed down to us from Essen. Um, but shark, uh, sorry, shark, shark, yeah. frenzy, feeding shark frenzy. Feeding frenzy. That we actually did we actually did a playthrough of that so one already. You can find that on our channel. Yeah. Wish granted. It's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> it goes right along with the theme. Okay. Anyways, uh, yeah, we did a we did a video for that. So I don't know if that game funded or not. I wonder. I don't remember. I don't remember. Uh, okay. So who who so commented that? The person who commented that is Billy Indiana, and you get to win this prize. Billy Indiana. Billy that's, Indiana. That's a cool name. Billy Indiana. Congrats. All right. Congrats, Billy. Congrats, Billy Indiana. All right, you got yourself a copy of Christmas Lights and Holly Jolly from 25th Century Games. Chris, do your job, buddy. What episode are we on? We are on episode nine. Episode nine. And Great, what's going on in the comments? We have a lot of congratulations. Hey. And that's where we're at right now. And if anybody has any questions at any point yep. you want to ask, just feel free to shoot them out. Brittany will let us know if she sees them because they're coming out quick. Uh, someone's calling out Rudolph for taking off their nose. But the steady light is better than the flicker. <laughs> All right. I, just, uh, I had to get a drink there. I didn't want to put it in the drink. We have a mini fridge full of drinks, but the mini fridge has been turned off for like a week or two. So the drinks are all warm, which is sad because I'm thirsty. Okay. Next. <laughs> Next sponsor for episode nine was Renegade Game Studios. Renegade Game Studios. My guess is we did a playthrough for whatever this is. Not a playthrough. Yeah. yeah. G.I. Joe the deck building game. Jedro Deco. 
Uh, anyways, yeah, so whoever wins this, we have a how to play for you. And uh, and that, that, that that's it. That's all we have. That's all we have to say. We have a how to play for this. We haven't played this much, actually. We only, This is one of those that we only played for, to do the how to play because it came at a time where we were so jammed with projects. Mm -hmm. But uh, we did get to play this like once or twice, mm -hmm. do the how to play. The fun how to play to do. All right. Okay, so this is, again, what prototype in this video would you like us to do a playthrough of? And they said, definitely Frosthaven. Frost, oh, no, the bag. The Frosthaven was the bubble wrap. Oh, the right. Bubble <laughs> <laughs> now, we are going to do playthroughs of Frosthaven, yes. but the legit copy. So it'll play the same, just but look better. So we're not going to get to Frosthaven. Eventually, we've been reading the rules like crazy. Just been helping me. Chris said he was going to help, but he has not come through on that yet. We've been watching the videos, reading the rules, getting all set. Paul Grogan has got, oh, if you guys want how to plays for, I can't do this thing. If you want how to plays for Frosthaven, check out Paul Grogan's uh, game rules. They're awesome videos. Um, I watched the first episode. Very I, good. I, I technically had a uh, migraine watching one of them, so I had to sleep halfway through, but that was not because of the video. <laughs> Anyways, so one lucky winner is going to win G.I. Joe, the deck of the game. And the winner is Doreen B. Doreen B? Doreen B. Ooh. Like letter B or spelled like a B? Spelled like a B. Well, congratulations, Doreen B. You're getting a copy of G.I. Joe, the deck building game from Renegade Game Studios. Thank you for sponsoring that Renegade. Boom. On to the next episode, episode 10. Episode 10. We have two giveaways from two different sponsors. Two giveaways, two different sponsors. Gotcha. I'm with you. First sponsor is? Inside Up Games. Inside Up Games. That that, well, that would be it, Chris. We have a playthrough of this, but we don't have a game anymore because as it is with media, sometimes you get copies to do videos and you have to send them back out. Unfortunately, Blocky Key was one of those ones we had to send back out. I think next time we see Connors at a show, we'll just pick up. Yeah. Key. Um, so blocking key, it's cool because like do, me and Brittany did the playthrough. It's like polyomino pieces, yeah. which are like tetra shaped pieces, and they're 3D. And uh, there's two layers. You pick them up from the bottom layer and you stack them. And you're trying to make patterns, but you play in three dimensions. So it's like if you they line up, even if they're like stacked this way, you still fulfill your pattern. So cool game from Inside Out Games. Very unique mechanic. And what is the question? So the question for this one and the next one are, name your favorite Canadian board game media personality. <laughs> Mark was upset with my answer. Did you say Rodney? I did. <laughs> <laughs> and what's but of course you're my favorite. I, say, I feel like I have to say you guys just because like I spend a lot of time here. Because <laughs> you're uninvited. Brittany can't be uninvited, but you'd be uninvited. <laughs> Good answer, Jess. Good answer, Jess. Chris? Are you? What? Are you... Yeah, I said Chris doesn't want to answer. <laughs> And the winning comment, for Rodney, I love him. Little hearts. Whatever. <laughs> Brittany, did you secretly write this comment? <laughs> okay, so who, who, what Rodney lover is getting a copy of Block and Key? Kelsey Wilson. The nerve. The nerve of you. <laughs> <laughs> no, right, we love Rodney. Rodney's great. Rodney's great. If you want to see a special guest appearance of Rodney on the yeah. show, check out our episode of Every uh, Batman Everybody Lies. We did a preview. And That's in the good. beginning, we mock a bunch of, we don't, we, we make, kind of make fun, poke fun at mostly ourselves, I guess. But we poke fun at others' channels. And at the end, Rodney comes in and pokes a little fun at us. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, I thought it was fun. I thought he did a great job. I didn't know what he was going to do, so it was great. All right. So. Next sponsor? Who's our next sponsor? Roxley. Ooh, Roxley. All right. Roxley. Okay. Da, da, da. <laughs> Roxley is giving us Dice Throne Season 2. But before we get to what the question... Oh, we know what the question is. We do. What are you Googling at? I'm uh, sorry. So I just got a comment from De Bruiser and it said, forget about getting sponsors to give away games to viewers. They need a sponsor storage locket locker so you guys can have more room for games. That would be great. <laughs> that would be awesome. I do That's why I laughed because one of the comments was, uh, I have mixed emotion about getting games. We're excited for new games and then worried about we're running out of storage for games. <laughs> that we are, was the we are also. As you see, we stopped using shelves. We just started making stacking. piles. We're, we're like the Incas, the Mayans, who stack things. <laughs> <laughs> That's us. Um, anyways, who's responsible for Stonehenge? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. I could ask yeah. that. I could ask those questions, but I don't exactly know the answers. <laughs> the I don't Mayans. think anyone knows. Somebody knows. I think it's assumption. No, we'll have to. let's not get into this. <laughs> we're sure we're if anybody knows, I'm curious who who built, who built Stonehenge. Anyways, Chuck Norris. What is the question for? Okay, Roxy's sponsoring us. It's Dice Throne Season Two. What is? 
Again, this is favorite board game media personality. Oh, right. Uh, this person might have been stuck in a little. Didn't, be, didn't <laughs> know you guys were yes. Canadian, so you guys. <laughs> Good answer. And who who is this genius? <laughs> three spears. Three spears. I like you already, three spears. Uh, anyways, if you guys want to see how cool this looks, everything is like in just individual compartments. So you're like, I want to play this person and this person. And then you're ready to go. This is all you need. So good. Anyways, that is it. Uh, you know, I, I love the Dice Throne series. Uh, what I'd like to go back to and play is actually Marvel Dice Throne. Yeah, because uh, we have it. It's brand new. It's actually sitting right there in the brown box. We've played these. We haven't played enough. Dumb. We only did the Marvel prototype. That was fun. Yeah. I was okay. going to say, did we not play that already? So congratulations to Three Spears, right? Three Spears. Three Spears. Intelligent person. Great, great. <laughs> Great taste. taste, great taste, great taste. So Andrew Metti, yes, we're all Canadian here. Yes. And one of the other questions that made me laugh was uh, Best at Star Trek says there's actually a se <clears throat> secret button he pushes where the wall opens up to a secret board game layer. We actually have that. We do. <laughs> <laughs> Chris built it, Mark designed it. <laughs> we do have a secret, we have a secret board game board room. Games. <laughs> but I actually the doors open right now. I can look at it. <laughs> so we'll show you guys on Instagram another day. We want to finish it because the facade isn't complete. Yeah. We need to stain it. But I can't That's stain because so the fumes from the stains trigger my migraine, so I can't do it. So next episode, we're on episode eleven. There is one giveaway, and the sponsor is Stronghold Games. Stronghold Games. Da -da -da -da. Oh, freaking yeah. fantastic! Yay. Board game coffee seal of approval. You know what? I, since we're going by this too fast, there might have been some games that we gave a seal approval to that I haven't mentioned that have come up. I don't remember. But Australia, fantastic. This is one of those games where it's like, I saw that box, I was like, eh, eh, no interest. Then I played it, freaking awesome. And the concept, it's like, oh, you're a bit, like, the board doesn't look that exciting. But it's fantastic. It's fantastic. Freaking fantastic. Like, you will not be disappointed with this game. Like, when the idea of, like, you told me the game, was like, you're building train tracks. Mm -hmm. Yep. To resources, but you have to deal with Cthulhu monsters. And I was like, oh, that's just weird. That's just weird. And then I played it. Genius. <laughs> Genius is what it is. It's Genius, Brit. Genius. Anyways, who's who's winning this Genius piece of work? So the question for this episode was, what is your favorite game from Stronghold Games? Favorite game? Favorite game? Oh, Terraform Mars. Terraform Mars. Agreed. Terraform Mars. All right, Terraform Mars was our favorite, but Australia is close behind because Australia is amazeballs from Stronghold, Stronghold Games. So, great minds think alike, and the winning comments also said Terraforming Mars. Ah. And the winner is J. John. J. John? J. John. J. John. Congratulations, J. John. You're getting a copy of Australia. Australia? Australia. Australia. No, it's Australia. So, with that, we are now on episode 12 so oh episode 12 yeah we can, uh, we can do the okay so here's our bonus game i'm just gonna put it out here and then we'll give it we'll come we'll give the question this is what this is what's up the grabs this is the last bonus game we're just gonna put it over here rear window by funko that's yeah. right I'm just gonna put that right here there you go there so you we're go. not even halfway we're 12, 12. We're halfway. okay we're halfway once we're done this we'll be halfway yeah so i'm gonna put it here but i'm not gonna give you the question just yet i think i drink way too much water before the show. Mm -hmm. huh? <laughs> we use catheter here. Okay. Use All right. I'm like, oh my gosh. So ready, 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 ready. Not gonna make it. Do you donate our, do you mention our sponsor? Uh, there are two sponsors for episode 12 and two giveaways. And the first one is Smirk and Dagger. Smirk and Dagger with Boop. This game's oh adorable. I want to play this so bad. game's adorable. Cats jumping on a quilted bed. And they're pushing each other off, depending on how big the cat is, and trying to knock the other cats off. It's, it's adorable and fun. We don't have it. I played the demo at Gen Con. It's so cute. And I, I, was, I was attracted to it. I was like, well, this is cute. It's too cute for me to take it seriously. And then I played it, and I was like, no, it's good, too. It's cute, <laughs> and it's good. It got my surprise. It's great. If you see Boop, the box is adorable. The game looks adorable. Don't get it, but it's it's a solid game. From Smirk and Dagger, they are giving you a copy of Boop. But no, not you, not all of you, one of you. And the question for this episode is, what games do you use to introduce the older generation of non-board gamers to the hobby? Uh, we we what? used code what names. What was that? 
We're, I'm we're, so we're distracted battling. by what you just did. We're, we're, <laughs> we're battling. We're battling. Fuck. We're like Rams. <laughs> we're battling for do- Christmas dominance. <laughs> Christmas dominance. Yeah, I can't deal. Anyways, uh, we've used code names and Azul. That's what we used to bring in the older the older generation. Surprisingly, code names when the older generation has had a few drinks, they really enjoy it. It's fun. They really enjoy it. Uh, okay, so. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to sneak out. I'm sorry. Bree's gonna take a break. I'm sorry. Bree's gonna take a break. Back. Hey, you know, Bree, why why are why you're gone? Why are you gone? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go. Sorry, 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 sorry. Live, live. You gotta deal with life. Hey, Bree, while you're gone, do you wanna bring me a beer from upstairs? I sure can. I'll take something to you, please. Okay. Yeah, yeah, two beers. See? Drink break. Anyways, we'll just keep going. If nobody answers your comments, you know why. So, who's going to win boop? What was they wouldn't so answer? So, the comment was, Azul always helps. Azul, hey! We agree. Yeah. Brilliant minds. And the winner is? Cocklead. Cocklead? <laughs> you are the winner! Uh, you gotta love random picks. <laughs> Thank you for letting making me read that. <laughs> I don't know. That was your job. I didn't know. I don't know, I don't know who the randoms are. Anyways, you are the winner. Congratulations, Cockley. You've won a copy of Boop. <laughs> All right, I think you got some Boop. What's our next? Next sponsor next for sponsor. episode twelve. Crowd games. games. Oh, crowd games. Crowd games. What do we got? Oh, I see what it is. Cause it's a little slow. Come on, Rudolph. Rudolph, I, I have to take you Boom! Art box. Now this is one that we don't have, obviously, we have this. And I've actually never played. I just saw pictures of it online. A lot of white with stark red, so it's very artsy, which suits the title. There's a unicorn on the box. That is what I know. But Crowd Games makes great stuff. We've done playthroughs of Ganesha. We've done playthroughs of Deep State. We've liked everything we've played of theirs, but we, oh, excuse me, but we haven't played this. So, I'm sure it's good because Crowd Games puts out good stuff. Anyways, what's the question? So, remember, the question is, what games do you use to introduce the older generation? Oh, same question, right? Same question. And they said, I find trick-taking games work well because mm-hmm. many of them have played that type of card game. The crew also is cooperative, so you're helping each other. Skull King is another good one, but competitive. And then, mm-hmm. thumbs up. And who said that? Billy Indiana! Billy A! You win again! Indiana. That's two! Two wins for Billy Indiana. It's, Shut it's up. funny that that game that name actually stood out to me. Yes, not it's, a me- much, it's a memorable name. Not as much as Cockley, but Billy Indiana. Congratulations, Billy Indiana! You just won Art Box from Crowd Games. Congratulations! That's two. Well, we did say you could win multiple. And we are moving on. Is that to our first? Episode that's 13. our first double. Right? I think that's our first. Sec- well, double. in the first episode, we had those uh, couple that won the game in the same house. Yes, that's so true. That could count we had a that husband way. and a wife win. And husband in the first episode, back to back. Was it back to back? It was close. It was and then close. somebody else won twice. Yeah. Billy Indiana. Congratulations. Congratulations. Right. What's next? Ready? So next is episode 13. We have two sponsors and three winners. So there's three different games that they're going to show. The first is Inside Up Games. Inside Up Games. So it's Inside Up Games. A Canadian company. Connor, if you're watching, probably not. Say hey, Merry Christmas. Uh, we got Sea Change. Now, I'm pretty sure this has got a like a seal of approval from Dice Tower. Because I don't have Sea Change. When I looked it up, and I'm pretty sure that's what I saw in the box. Okay, so what was the question for Sea Change? So the question is, for this and the next two, what is your strangest or favorite board game based on intellectual property? Example, something that showed up in this episode, Austin Powers Backgammon. Mm-hmm. Austin Powers Backgammon. Oh, Brady's here. The bartender's here. I brought one for you too, Jax. I don't know if you want. Oh, thank you. Heineken or Steam Whistle? Doesn't matter. Pick one. Please. This one fits in my thing. It does fit in your thing. The Heineken. I got, uh, Brittany got this lovely. It's a Yeti, Yeti like, beer cooler. Drinks. Which is like, these things are expensive. Uh, Heineken does not fit. No, Heineken's too tall. Too tall. All right. So, Sea Change by Inside Up Games that Brittany interrupted. I'm sorry. It's all right. Um, so Don't I think you're after the show. I, you're the pool. I, I think you guys had already more. answered this question in, in the episode um, yeah. about your strangest or favorite board game based on intellectual property because you, in fact, have Austin Powers. Austin board Powers game. backgammon. Do you have? Yeah, sorry, backgammon. Do you have any other weirder games based on intellectual property? Probably, but I don't remember. Well, we have like Funko's got some weird things, right? Like they got Golden but Girls. Austin Powers. They got Golden Girls Funko's. Like this yeah, got like she throws cake. Yeah, Blanche so awesome. and Betty White. Like Blanche and Rose and Island. Oh, someone else is drinking from a Yeti. 
So yeah, those Yeti things are cool. All right. Okay. Winner commented, Jumanji Flux. Ah, Flux has got a Flux is like a card game. It's got tons of IPs attached mm -hmm. to it. Who who said that? Robert Cartwright. Robert Cartwright, congratulations! You getting yourself a copy of Sea Change. I appreciate the clapping. I appreciate the clapping. Thank you. It's a fair form. All right. Okay. Next two games are both from Arcane Wonders. Arcane Wonders. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh. and they're actually the same. We're giving away two, two copies copy. of the two, same game. Two copies of not quite what you're gonna see. Yeah, that, that's you correct. Because I got a note. I got a note here. So we, we're giving away two copies of Foundations of Rome. The game but, that I'm learning, so you should keep this out. But 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 but. In the video when we went through the 24, we had this in the white box, but we just took it up for this video. I still haven't looked inside this. I just ripped the bag off of this. But Foundation of Rome, the winner, we are giving away two copies of the Senator Edition. This is the Emperor Edition. I don't know what the boxes, I don't know how different the boxes look, if there's any difference, because I haven't seen the Senator Edition. I only have the Emperor Edition. But we're giving away two copies of Foundation of Rome, the Senator Edition which is a very generous gift from Arcane Wonders. Thank you very much. And, uh, and that's, that, that's it. Let's, let's go to the question. This game, I can't wait till Brittany. Brittany's going to learn that one. Eh? Brittany's going to learn this. So right Mark said it was really easy. Uh, that's because that's what people said. It was, they said it was like easy, like easy to get into and learn. Excellent. Easy. Oh. <laughs> it can't be harder I'm than Photosynthesis, I'm, right? I'm sure there's hot place. <laughs> okay, so... Hit me. What's the question? Okay. So this is, again, Strange is a favorite board game based on intellectual property. Oh, right. I forgot. I so I there are steps. two winners of this. The first one, their comment is, love Bloodborne. So anything set in that world is great. Yes. Card game or board game? We have the board game. Boom. Don't have the card game. All right. Well, congratulations. Who said that? Congratulations. Mike Beach. Congratulations, Mike Beach. Wait, I'll let you clap. Mike Beach just gave up on the card so Kayla's like, oh, Kayla's joining us. She's got the baby monitor, so she might have to leave halfway. So she's not Are you going to just be back there? Kayla? Yeah, she's yes, going to talk from off camera. camera. All right, just don't, whatever you do, don't step on any cables, cameras, don't disconnect us at all from the internet. Very good. <laughs> so, Kayla, if you want to yell out comments from there, you can. Keep in mind, you're the closest to the mic. So, we, oh, yeah. We have to do a mic change. Okay. That's everybody, the mic right there. Everybody okay. can hear you just fine. <laughs> all right, so, Mike Beach, you've got yourself a copy of Foundations Are Own, the Senator Edition. I just keep wanting to emphasize that because for all I know, the center edition box is big. I doubt I it, know. <laughs> but I don't know. Okay. Who's our next winner? Who's the next? Our answer? next winner who is also winning this. Center edition. They commented, I'm correct. <laughs> I'm not super into IP games for the most part, but my favorite of them would be Marvel United X-Men at the moment. Ah. Great game. Yeah. <laughs> it's back there. Marvel United X-Men. They have a, uh, someone's got a new one out. Marvel United. Oh, uh, what is it? It's the something universe. The multiverse, I think. I think it's uh, Marvel University of uh, whatever. Marvel United, the multiverse. I believe that's what it is. And I'm going to apologize in advance, but the winner is Kevin Corini. Kevin Corini. Turini. 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 Kevin. Turini. Kevin possibly Turini. You win. You win a copy. A, co a co copy. Of Foundations of Rome, Center Edition. Britt, what's happening on? What's happening in the comments? We got a lot of congratulations. I love this crowd and the vibe tonight. Everyone is so awesome and kind to each other. So I love doing this. This, like. this is why we do it. And let's not forget, we have our link to uh, our Sick Kids donation page. Yep. We're going to try to build that up throughout this episode if we can. Let's and do it. And then we'll, uh, Chris has got a special announcement for us at the yes. end. And... Uh, but the link is not in this video. You have to go to any of our other 24 videos, yes. and it's like the first link, I think. You had to restart the live. Yeah, so did. thanks for your patience with us, guys. Kaylee should have seen it. Chris just messed this whole thing up. My oh. nose is on. It was set off the sound vibes. It was, messed, it was all, all, guys, all guys. bad. All bad. All right. Are we doing trivia yet? Because we're halfway. Oh, yeah. Trivia. Yeah. Trivia. Trivia. Now, so this, one, trivia. this one is going to be interesting. Now, this is, should I do this? Oh, 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 it was my phone. I need to show. Oh, my phone's right here. Oh, tell them to the blank. <laughs> Lost it. I've lost my phone. I am. I might be. Oh, it's gone. Okay, so I'm gonna whisper my question to Brittany. See, Brittany, if you. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, we're gonna do this. Now, this this one comes out of an interesting story. Now, nobody say anything, and nobody who know who's related to us could win this. <laughs> um, but this is a simple one. First person to spell my first and last name correctly. Uh, in the comments. 
wins rear window. It's an easy one. It's an easy one. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. oh that was fast. <laughs> First comment. Oh, second one, second one was, it's M-A-I-A. Thank you. Richard was it Richard? L. Richard L. That was fast. L. I looked up and it was like, boom. Thank you guys. You guys got wow. it. People pay attention. Yeah, yeah. You know who I asked that? Funny reason why I asked that one. That was an easy one. <laughs> it was because we were on a podcast and uh, we were getting primed up, ready for it. <laughs> and we were, it was during lockdown. It was, yeah. So the, we're, it was like a video cast. And I'm not going to mention which channel it was. Oh. But uh, the fine gentleman was like... The person was really nice. Hey, guys. How's it going? I was like, yeah, yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good. And they're like, okay, uh, we're about to get started. You know, give us the prep. And you're like, okay, um, okay, Brittany, now I know your name, but I don't think you've ever mentioned your name on the show before. <laughs> I was like, it's Mark. <laughs> Mark Maya. I actually say it at the beginning of every freaking episode. <laughs> I actually on purpose didn't say it at the beginning of this episode because of that question. So the other question I was going to here's a question for, just for fun. It's Richard L, right? Yes. yes. Okay. Oh, I like Marky and Danny. Marky and Danny. Oh, Indiana, sorry. I'm being Indiana. corrected. Mark the last Kevin. winner, his last name is pr pronounced Turini. Turini. That's close. I feel like that's close. Fun oh, fact, yeah. now that we've been married and my last name is Maya, everyone assumes my first name is Maya as well. That's very popular. Your <laughs> okay. Oh, so, wait, our sponsor. We're on to episode 14. 14. There are two giveaways, both from Awaken Realms. Okay, and the first one, which you guys probably already saw, was the Great Wall. This is the Dragon Pledge. So I think the Dragon Pledge is the base pledge, but you got a great game in the base pledge, so you'll be fine. All right. Thank, question. thank you very much. Because the game is beautiful regardless of what version you get. And I'm not even sure which. I think there's two versions. If I'm, if I'm, I'm, yeah, it was the Great Wall. Well, there's like, I think there's like a Meeple silk screen version and there's a mini version. And uh, I played the, with the mini version and it was pretty. Mm -hmm. And I've heard that the other version is just as pretty. So I've heard people say before they don't know which version they like better as far as how it looks. So I'm very curious which. I don't know which one this is. But, anyways. The Great Wall, very popular. People love this game. And Awaken Realms, everything they put out is awesome as far as we're concerned. And awesome. So just awesome. Anyways, what's the... Uh, people in the comments also agree with uh, how amazing it looks. So the question for this is, what is your favorite Awaken Realms game? Oh, what just... What is my favorite game? Just... Um, it's Aetherfields. It's Aetherfields for Jess. Aetherfields for Jess. Chris doesn't yeah. know things. Yeah, Britain, <laughs> right, right, favorite right, right. Games. So when I think of is Tainted Fields. Grail. For me, it's either Tainted Grail or Etherfields. It's because I like them both. I don't so think both like Tainted have... Grail. Tainted Grail. Yeah, I don't think yeah. No. It's just such an experience, and like it's you're so going twisted. through it, and it's so twisted, and like my skin crawls because it's, it's so just like twisted. this is this would be you know, so awful. I get so into. I it. got into a story situation in the prototype because I played the prototype. And it's something that I don't even know if it's a story you can get into in the final. Mm -hmm. Because I went to this like madhouse and I got um, I got trapped inside or something like that happened. And then I got myself out. But my character, it was easier for him to get out once they captured me. And then I think I played by myself and I did that. And then Brittany was like, I'm going to go here. And I was like, oh, you're going to come across that place. Don't worry. If they capture you, you can get out. But Brittany got like captured and then it got worse for her as she tried to get out. She has a different character. So it's like, I don't know if she was being tortured or whatever, but the story got messed up bad. for Brittany. And I had to come help her because if I got there, my I could help her with my roles. And I didn't get there in time before. We just lost because I think Brittany died. It was just terrible. But it was a great story. It was a terrible situation told in a great story. So it was fantastic. Anyways, we're not talking about Tinder Grail. We're talking about the Great Wall. And the, and what was the answer? Did we do the answer of the winner? Um, so the person answered, by far, Tainted Grail. Scary, yet entertaining. Yes. And <laughs> and the winner, everyone on everything. Everyone on everything. Congratulations. You are getting a copy of The Great Wall. And Tainted Grail is a great choice. It was one of mine. Tainted Grail or Ether Beals. But there's so many. There's so, many. so many. Nemesis? Fantastic. Nemesis is fantastic. You guys haven't played because I played. That was Nemesis is one of the few Awaken Realms games that I played with a different group. Mm -hmm. All right, next one. Next one is also from Awaken Realms. Ah, ba -ba -da. The special edition Castles of Burgundy. Oh, this is the. Oh, it's so a, now, the message we got, I typed it in as in gameplay all in. I'm assuming this is just the. We're getting the all in of this edition. Now, the special edition of Castles of Burgundy is so pretty. It's the one that I couldn't. Convinced myself that it was a good idea to back because I just bought 
the previous version before I knew that one was a thing. And I still have the other one sealed. But I really want this one. <laughs> Awakened Realms, if you have any extra copies and you want to, you know, <laughs> share the Christmas spirit, I'm not eligible to win this, but you can get it, you can hand it over. Anyways. Oh. I mm -hmm. think we've been pronouncing something wrong. What? So we say Etherfield's first letter should be pronounced like the one in the word end. Etherfield? Etherfield. Etherfield. We're Canadian. We say A, E. I don't, I don't know if that's a, a, a <laughs> I'll take it. Okay. Uh, Etherfield. Why the one that like Ether? Can I also it's say ether. someone yeah, asked us ether. if we drink coffee from a tainted grail? And I said no, but we do drink from skull cups. That we got from we do have skull cups. Okay, so <laughs> who? What was the winning for a special edition of Castle Murphy all day? This is a great prize. Great prize. Great prize. Uh, the comments. Oh, you already gave the answer. Yep. Let's go. Uh, this is the next one. So again, favorite Awakened Realms game. Etherfields is amazing. Oh, well, probably Etherfields. <laughs> and now we're being told we're pronouncing it right. So I don't, I don't know. know. I'm gonna say Etherfields. <laughs> Ether, I mean, we've, we've dug in. Etherfields. We're dug in there. It's in my brain. That's what I'm saying. So Ether. So hey. So I actually said Tainted Girl and Etherfields, and both of our popular Tainted Girl and Etherfields. And who said this? Uh, Kit Kat 46. Kit Kat 46. Congratulations! You are getting a copy of the special edition of Castles of Burgundy. This is the, that, I think that was the game where I said we put a rule into place. Like, if you don't want it, we will take it. Mm -hmm. I don't see why anybody would want this. And that that's just a joke. Everybody keep their games. <laughs> yes, okay. that's true. <laughs> so, On to episode 15. So Again, 15. we 16. have two winners. Two giveaways. Two sponsors? Two sponsors. <laughs> All those things. <laughs> What's the first sponsor? Inside Up Games. Inside Yay. Up Games is back. Thank you, Inside Up Games. Thank you, Inside Up. Thank you, Inside Up. City Builders. Boom. City Builder. Oh, I really like this game. We played this uh, with Connor, uh, founder of, of uh, Inside Up Games. I think it's before he launched on Kickstarter or something yeah, yeah, yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to play with him a uh, digital copy. Like on, It was like Tabletopia or Tabletop yeah, Simulator or, or one like of those. And uh, we played City Builder with him. I think Brittany won, so could have been better if I won. But it's a great game. Would have been better if I won. I won, I know, so I love the game. I like every I game that I win. It would have been better if I won. Anyways, what was the question? Who... So the question for this one and the next one is what games do you have autographed? If none, then what games would you like autographed? And the winner said, I have an autographed copy of Role Player that I got as a Secret Santa gift when my secret gifter was at a con mm. and had the designer sign it. A super cool present. And the winner, cool. Blake Curry. Blake Curry? Blake Curry, congratulations. You are getting yourself a copy of City Builder from Inside Up Games. Thank you, Inside Up Games, for sponsoring a giveaway. Now, as far as autographs, we have an autographed copy of Robin Hood and His Merry Men, uh, a copy of Five Minute Dungeon, Five Minute Dungeon, and a copy of what's the card game? Cards Against Humanity. Yeah, that's that's all the autographed copies we have. Which I thought Gerald's never. Yeah, we, we didn't mention that. It's like Daryl's always here, but we've never got him to sign our games. We, right, we need him yeah. to. Yeah, we should. Just so we can say, hey, Daryl, sign our games. Next sponsor, Renegade Game Studios. Renegade Game Studios. Thank you, Renegade. Thank you, Renegade. Renegade and boom. Fantastic. Uh, my favorite of their series of um, deck builders that they put out recently, which is like Power Rangers, Transforms, G.I. Joe, My Little Pony. This is my favorite of the bunch. In all fairness, this is the one I played the most. <laughs> because I had the most time to play this way. Uh, we did a how to play for this, which I think is exceptional. So whoever wins this, check out our how to play. I think all our Renegade games. That we, that but we, I think you love like. this so much you did a review for this one. No, we did a preview. No, a preview. Yeah. And you're not allowed to put opinions. And you were. And that's when our so, <laughs> sirens got installed yeah. into our studio. That was yeah, that was the gag we installed. Because I really like this, but we don't do reviews for pay. But I really wanted to tell people how much I like this. So I snuck well, we don't it. put opinions in previews. So I, I snuck it into a preview. Anyways, so what was the question for the person who's going to People win? are saying how the how to play is great. Thanks, Thank you. Joshua. Thank you. Uh, same question. Which game do you have autographed or would you like All to right. have autographed? Oh, I keep forgetting we're on the same episodes. I keep asking the same thing. So the winner said none signed a present, but it would be cool to get a signed copy of Frosthaven. That would. That that, cool. I, I'm assuming that would be from Isaac. And the winner is Jordan Kazmierski. Jordan Kurz is Kazmierski. Kazmierski. That's what we're going with. <laughs> we're going with that. And we're going with Ethan Fields. <laughs> okay. Congratulations, Jordan. Not going to try to pronounce your last name. You've just won a copy of Power Rangers, the deck building game from Renegade Game Studios. Thank you very much, Renegade, for making that possible. Okay, let's get on it. 
Okay, on to episode 16. <laughs> episode again. 16. Oh, then we took two winners. Off. That was fast. So that one's already done, right? Yeah, we're done. Mm-hmm. Two sponsors, moment. two winners, two games. The first one, <laughs> Renegade Game Studio. Again, Renegade's back. Renegade's very generous. Yes, they They're are very generous. generous. Well, everyone's been really generous. Okay, bam, bam. Oh, we have a couple. I want my father's work and my little pony deck builder. My little pony might be able to make it happen. Um, Transformers, more than me, CR. This is a Transformers deck building game. We have a how to play for this as well. All right. So question. Cool. What's the question? Get ready to answer, guys. What is the number one cardinal rule you have at your house on game nights? Example, no drinks on the table. No, reading the rule book. That's <laughs> like I'm my drink on the table. <laughs> yeah, no that is reading. normally a rule, though. No yeah, drinks no. on the table. Yeah, that's true. true. We try to have side tables because yeah. the drinks on the table happen. There's no board games. Kayla. No. <laughs> Kayla. No. So the day Kayla says she spilled the drink, what does Kayla do? She spilled the drink. It was in on the, the kitchen, on, on the fridge. The fridge. <laughs> she just spilled the drink. Kayla's <laughs> funny, though. <laughs> I never spill anything, Splash. <laughs> It was like the worst thing. It fell out of the fridge on you. <laughs> I feel like one of the unofficial rules is also like Jess can't shuffle things. <laughs> Jess can't shuffle, so Jess is not allowed to shuffle. Um, Chris, what's your rule? For me, it's like I need to know the game before I teach it. I don't like reading rules at the table. You know, if I have to figure something out, like because I can't remember, sure, but I should know the majority. So I think that's it. I think people, I've gone to game game days where like people are reading at the table the rules and we're learning. They don't them. know the game at all. Don't care for that at all. The only game that works with is Jaws of the Lion. Yeah, we did that as a trial. That run, one was really was well. Like it's written for that tutorial. It's great. Technically, you could do that with uh, Harry Potter Hogwarts Battles too, because mm-hmm. you could read that in two minutes. So yeah. easy. The rule book is really well written. Or Tebaru. Yes. Oh, uh, Tebaru, we have some that comments here that, you know, um, so Ali says we have someone who always spills his drink, never fails. It could happen. You know what we did with people like that? We actually bought this like person little like person. <laughs> we bought a little thermos wine glass with a sippy cup top. Yeah. And it helps. So it looks like a if you have a cup, friend that's a wine glass inside and a sippy cup lid. It works. Have. Try that out. She spilled every time. And we're not talking about Kayla. Kayla actually doesn't <laughs> spill drinks. Just except, to for the, except for the last time. <laughs> Just saying. Just Once ahead. and for we never forget. Yeah. <laughs> Forever burdened. What's your name? We, make, we the can spiller. make mistakes here. <laughs> All right. So what was the answer? No food or drink at the table. No food oh. drink at the table. Popular one. Popular. Who said that? Um, two, pen- two potential pronunciations. Merrick N. Or if you're Polish, Marek N. Ah, okay. well, you have is... the Polish accent. <laughs> I have the Polish. Like <laughs> My husband is Polish, and, and his name is Marek. Marek. He goes by Mark because people are terrible. <laughs> <laughs> and when, they, when she says people are there are terrible, she means us. Marek, because <laughs> this. <laughs> that's not you, American. That's, so that's, for, the, that's to, for her, Mary. I just want to read some comments. So Jamie in the comments said, we had game night and someone brought their game, unwrapped it, and punched out all of the little bits. What? The table. Unacceptable. <laughs> Unacceptable. I feel the pain. Unacceptable. And for the record, when I, when I, if you find our video, we did a behind the scenes where we're talking about like that. Names. Merrick, just names. Because he goes by Mark. I'm pretty sure yeah. you also told me that you did not know my name for the first couple oh, times. Oh, we did. That's yeah. a different conversation. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Jessica! But I, I was, the conversation, because I, I like Merrick better than Mark as a name. I think it's a more interesting name. It's a great name. I think he's he missing out. That. He's missing out. He's missing out. Anyways. There's a whole discussion. We gave this out, right? Who's winning? Was, do we have yeah. that already? Yeah. The Merrick. There's the whole. Merrick. That was Merrick. 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 He's, and. He's a folk star. When I started talking, I like black out. Reviews. Do you, nice. know, do you know, do you ever see those, you know, like Star Trek or Star Wars when they go into hyperspace, you, just, you see the lines and that's how I feel when I start talking and then just like, no, I don't know what's happening. Words come out and stuff Words come out. I was like, when well, I stop. Everything happens so fast because we have so many things like, going on at once. Okay, what's next? Sponsor? Queen Games. Queen, Queen Games. Games. Travis, thank you. I'm pretty sure you're a sponsor of this. I love Boom. this game. Copenhagen. Now, Chris, we did a preview for Copenhagen, the dice rolling game, and Chris made a guest appearance of that. Can can I just make a comment? Yeah. This is the game where I met 
Rodney Smith. Oh yeah, yeah, you go. That's, you don't have to whisper it. The mic's all. Oh the yeah, there. that's true. Doesn't work. <laughs> Uh, I think that's why maybe I like this game so much because I remember I was like totally fanning out and he walked by our table and I was like, look, it's Rodney. It was, and he was it so was nice. It. it was me <laughs> and uh, it was me, Brittany, and uh, Jesse from Quackalope. Yes. And was Angelica there? I don't remember where she was No, there. it was Chris. Oh, Chris, right. <laughs> I mean, Rudolph. For, that was, that was, that was right the first there. thing. That was Jesse like from Quackalope. Like Quack Quack that was when we're, all our channels were new. We were, we're all, all brand babies. new. I was the yeah. camera guy. I had like everything on me. It was like, yeah. And then we saw Rodney. And I'm pretty sure Rodney, like when, the way I, I called him out, he was like in the middle of conversation. I saw him. I was like, Rodney! And he's like, whoa, you came over. He must have been like, oh, I must know this guy, but I don't know this guy. He was so polite <laughs> about but it, it. But it was like, you don't know me. But uh, I know you. I was wow. so excited. I left I so giddy after that. Anyways, Rodney's the best. Anyways, we're not talking about Rodney. Sorry. We're talking about, about Queen Games and Copenhagen. This is such a good game. What's the question? Brittany decided to sidetrack. Cardinal sorry. rule. Cardinal what is rule. your cardinal rule? Okay, and the winner? The, the answer, winner said, same. number one rule, don't bend my cards. This drives me absolutely crazy. I hate it when my cards start curling or it bends in them. They give away what they are when drawing them from the deck. I actually yelled at my sister-in-law. I don't think she wants to play games with us, with us anymore. She had it coming. I back you. I back this play. <laughs> yes. You know who I've had this conversation with? Uh, Jason Bellchamber, if you're listening. He does our rings. He's 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 a tall man. He's got big hands. He can like palm this like he could probably palm this entire game this way. He's got big hands. So when he holds cards, because he play, he's just playing uh, Magic the Gathering, he bends them. <laughs> Drives me mental. It's like Jay, watch your hands. So the winner, Chase Palmer. Chase Palmer. Hey, Palmer. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations, Chase Palmer. You just got yourself a copy of Copenhagen. Great game. You will not be disappointed. Unless you already have a copy. Then you might be. But then you just give it away to somebody else. Make somebody else happy. Great Christmas gift. Mm -hmm. We just had a quite, get it in time for Christmas. We just question. had a question. How nice does Rodney need to be to register on the So Nice Canadian scale? I said <laughs> 10 out of 10. He's the definition of nice Canadians. Yeah. He is. He really is. We don't we don't rank on the same level as Rodney. He's way too <laughs> nice. All right. Okay, so on to episode 17. Episode 17. Again. again? Two sponsors. Oh, so I was with 17 again. 17 again. No. Two sponsors. Two sponsors. Two games. Two games. Two winners. Two winners. Yeah, I think you do, you do that in the space. Every time. Two sponsors. You know. Two sponsors. Two games. I don't be lying to you. I can't be lying to you. I was hyped earlier than this. Two winners. Two days. I, I don't have a deep enough voice for that. Yeah. You try. Okay. Two yeah. winners. <laughs> oh. Take a bad name. Don't try. Don't try. Don't try. <laughs> okay. First, Stronghold Games. What is it? Terraforming Mars. Woo! Ares Expedition. Yeah. Kayla's favorite game. Yes. Mary, I thought you were more of a Terraforming Mars person than the Ares Expedition. Oh. Well, Terraforming Mars both. in general. Yeah, both. They're both. They're, They're both great. So yeah. Uh, this so, is my favorite because I win all the time. And Terraforming Mars, I won once. And now we've it took never played years. again. And we're took four years for Brittany to beat me once. For, yeah, I can't wrap my head around this. I get my ass handed to me on this like constantly. And I might have won one game, maybe. I'm not even Love sure. I can't, even, can't even confirm that. But Terraform Mars, they do great. Terraform Mars Ares Expedition, something about it breaks my brain. And I can't I can't do it. I can't do it. And they play so similar. Yeah, they're great games. They're they're inter it's interesting because it's different but the same. Like, different but the same. That's fair. My explanation for the game would seem very the same. And then you play it, you're like, this is very Well, this is kind of like a co op y in a way because you're No. It's not cool at all. Well, you're How's it cool? Sorry, you're depending on other people to like trigger things. Other people, everybody chooses, <laughs> like I'm better at reading people. Everybody like chooses actions, <laughs> and whatever actions they choose, everybody can jump in on that. The person who chose the action or the phase that you can activate, they get a bonus. Yep. So it's 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 very it's very interesting. Great game, great game, fantastic game. Okay, question for this and the next game: What games do you want under your tree? Ah. What games do you want? What games? Chris? You know what I want? Oh, I don't know. I don't know what I want. I don't know. I don't know what I want. You don't want any more games. We have no more room. Just kidding. <laughs> We're going to be buying a whole bunch more games. Wasn't there a Marvel <laughs> Zombicide on your list? Oh, but it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Here, so I'm not going to put that on my list. It's coming. I got, uh, oh, Marvel Zombies came in the base, the core box. I want boop. Yesterday. I want boop. You want boop? I want boop. It looks so cute. All right. Boop over here. I, I don't know. I, it probably, like, everything I want from Stronghold Games I already have, I think. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know what it would be. I don't know. Any game. 
I think I mean, <laughs> we have a problem. Mech versus here, minions. Buy all the games. Mech versus want. minions. That's what I, that's what I would pick. Because that one is like I think you have to get it from their site, and it's it costs a bunch to ship, and it's supposed to be really good. So Mex versus minions. Too many. That's what too many bones was on our list for a while. We had to go to the states. Yeah, but I got lots of too many bones now, so I'm good. Yeah. I'm just missing a few expansions. So the winner said Cloud Spire and Undead or Alive. We got those both. All right. So and who said that? Who's going to win this? The winner, Daniel Shanks. Daniel Congrats, Shanks. Daniel. You just got yourself a copy of Terraform Mars Ares Expedition. It's in the golf game. It's in the golf game. All alone. I don't want to get it. All alone. All stable. Kayla, where's the clap? Where's the audience? Ooh. Where's the laugh track? I have the baby <laughs> monitor. <now. laughs> Camera move. Nope. No, it didn't. <laughs> You're drunk, Brittany. It was not my fault. <laughs> Kayla, Kayla, you have one. You got me all excited. Stop there. talking to Don't me. Don't step on anything. That was your one. It's going to be like, cry. <laughs> You've already had no problems with this it's life. It's good. It's good. It didn't shake that much. Right. I actually you made it better. Next nice sponsor. <laughs> Crowd Games. Are we the same episode? <laughs> same episode. So 17. Still 17. We're okay. still 17. Crowd Games. Crowd Games. What are we going for Crowd Games? Oh, this is two games, I believe. Windmill, Cozy Stories, and Cute Secrets. I say, I believe it's like in the Windmill series. I believe it's Cozy Stories and Cute Secrets. I don't have it, but I looked it up. Artwork is phenomenal. Very adorable. So, and again, Crowd Games. I haven't played this, but I've never played anything for Crowd Games that I don't like. So, that's all I can say. I can't say much about this because I don't know much about it other than it's cute looks very cute it sounds cute all right what's our question uh same question what games do you want under a tree oh right and the winner commented lisboa under the tree lisboa did i mispronounce that no oh, yeah, that, okay. lisboa is a do we, great oh, we, we don't, don't have lisboa. lisboa but great game I, I enjoyed it is that well we only played it once is that is lisboa is that vital Sarda? i don't know i don't know I somebody don't could know. tell me is vital Sarda? did he design lisboa, lisboa? Because it's the blue box, I believe. It's the box that's like a lot of blue on it, if I remember correctly. It's been a while. It was on my want list for a while, then I just took it off because there was too much time was passing. Anyways. Oh, somebody said yes. Do they? Oh. It is Lacerda. It is, yeah. So you like all his games. I do. So. His game is great. And he's Portuguese. That's why. We're in sync. We're in sync. Uh, the winner? Oh, the winner. Reg T. Reg T. Reg T. As in the letter T, not the drink. Reg T, congratulations, you are getting yourself a copy of Cozy Stories and Cute Secrets. All right, We are on to episode 18. Episode 18. There is excited. one giveaway in this episode, okay. one sponsor, Gamelin Games. Ooh. Gamelin Games. Oh. That's what I was going to say. Did we bring that? The... All right. Yeah. I think there's oh, a lot of things coming out today. Oh, no. Kayla. Hmm. If you are run upstairs, there is a manila envelope upstairs. If you could grab that. I think that. it's in that. The big one you got, right? Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. So, am I grabbing these or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grab yeah. them, grab them. Okay. Grab them so, there was one thing in our during our videos when we were announced, like, announcing what games we're giving away. We announced all these. So, that's all those. And you can give me that sheet too, Chris. Working on it, man. Come on, Chris. <laughs> there you go. We're good. Let's go together. Excellent. Poor Rudolph. There's so, so much pressure. So, much. so, one winner is going to get the deluxe edition of all of these. Tiny Epic Quest, so Tiny Epic Mechs, Tiny Epic Tactics, Tiny Epic Dungeons, yeah, Tiny Epic it. Pirates, Tiny Epic Dinosaurs. Hold on. Tiny Epic Dinosaurs. And you're going to get a deluxe edition of all of these. Plus, you're going to get a Tiny Epic Vikings Pledge. Plus, you're going to get this that just came in the mail today. Yes. Which is, this is, this is mine. You're going to get a brand new one. Let's open this up. So this is a... That's right, Tiny Epic Bonanza. This is the Gamelin Game Hall. It holds 12 Tiny Epic games in it. And it's got a little, like, the door is like, what well, zips up. And you can see all the games. So all the, it, it holds 12. So we're get, they're going to give you six plus the pledge. So that's seven to help you fill this up. So you're going to get this filled up with these. Oh, we have lots of people excited about this one in the comments it's today. Very exciting. Very exciting. I remember when I talked to uh, to Nate from Gamelin, he was he was actually the first person to re respond uh, to the giveaways because whoop, and he was he was just like, yeah, I'll give you this 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 and this. I was like, holy crap, that's a lot. And uh, he you know he gave us the option. He's like, do you want to give one to everybody or one super prize? And I was like, let's do one super prize. Let's do one super prize. 
So, and he was like, yeah, game on, let's do it. And we're throwing a bag and a Viking, a Viking pledge. And we're like, right on. He was totally into it. That's so awesome. thank you, Galen Games. Thank you so much. For sponsoring this. Very, very excited. As you can see, I've opened some of these. Actually, we've played some of these, but they're not open. We've played Dungeons, we've played Dinosaurs, but they're still sealed. We haven't played Quest, although it's open. And we've played Pirates, but it's sealed. So everything else. Actually, the only one here we haven't played is uh, Quest. It's the only one we've played on the other ones. Regardless if they're sealed or not. Because we might have played the prototype. Because we did a playthrough of uh, Pirates, actually. And we did a, we did a playthrough of Pirates, and we did a preview of Pirates. Did, yeah. All right, so well, what's the question? The question was, what tiny epic game would you like to see next? So example, Tiny Epic Heroes. Yeah, that was my suggestion. Mm -hmm. I think that'd be great. <laughs> tiny Epic Heroes would be great. So Tiny Epic something, something that doesn't exist. What would you like to see next? Go. Go. Whoa. Tiny Epic Babies. Tell you babysitters. I can't. I think mine was the heroes one. I came up with that. No, you didn't. I totally did. I don't think you did. Tiny epic space. Is there a space one? There There's is. There's tiny epic galaxies. Tiny epic supernatural. Tiny, I want to eat. <laughs> Marvel, but no. Tiny epic ghosts for you. Ghosts. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah. That would be cool. I like that. Vampires okay. Anyways, say what? Vampires and werewolves. Tiny, well, would it be tiny epic vampires? Yeah. Sure. Let's do that. It's tiny epic vampires. Yes. Okay. So what do we got? Who's who's there? So the winner said Tiny Epic Board Game Channel host. Ooh. Hey, why not? That's what they said. I like okay. it. I like it. I want to be if Gamelin, if you do I'd like to be a character, a playable character, please. All right. So the winner, Chris Kaminsky. Chris Kaminsky. Congratulations. You are getting all of this plus the bag that Chris took away and a pledge for Tiny Epic Vikings. We have some comments about Tiny Epic Rome, Tiny Epic Cities. Mm -hmm. Tiny epic underworld with vampires and werewolves. Ooh, like uh, that sounds awesome. I like it. Yeah, dude, I like how somebody there said it, not when Chris said it. Oh, did Chris say it? It's lame it's when Chris said it. Sounds better. Underworld? I agree. It sounds, it sounds better than like vampires and werewolves. Oh, so, tiny epic fairy tales. I'm with it you. It definitely yeah. sounds better when somebody else says it other than Chris. I agree. Tiny Epic Canada. Like, really that would be fun. There'd be like little <laughs> moose in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't trip on it. Okay, they're all coming through. Hold on. Tiny Epic Apocalypse. Tiny Epic Canada. Yeah. Tiny Epic Universal Mar Monsters. Plants. Robots. Okay, they're just, there's so That's many. Right. I can't <laughs> keep them up. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. That's so much fun. Game One Games, thank you so much. We appreciate it. All right, what's next? What's next? Jess, hit me. Next. Episode 19, again, two winners, two sponsors, two games. I feel like I said that in a bad order. There's two sponsors. First one, Smirk and Dagger. Smirk thank and you, Dagger. Smirk and Dagger. Sponsor number one. Thank you, thank you. Number one. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody will ever hear that. Number one. Number one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Smirk and Dagger, sponsor number one, and they are sponsoring. Chris, you want to announce this? Go. All right, is it always, uh, yes. Night Cage. The Night Cage. The Night Cage. Yeah. It's like that was, you that like was it. a good guess, Chris. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> just, came nose. <laughs> <laughs> just came to me. Just came to me. So, Smirking Dagger is playing the Night Cage. Really cool box. Creepy. Looks really creepy. And But we don't have it. Uh, this, But it was the Night Cage. It's the reason I met Kurt, the guy who handles things over at uh, Smirking Dagger, because the box drew me to their booth at, like I think it was Gen Con. And I went there. I was like, ooh, what's this? And he was like, look at these other cool things. And then I played Boop and the Spill, and I was like, this is awesome. So anyways, then I came. So what was the question? What is the biggest Kickstarter or Goundfound project you've ever backed? Gamefound. Gamefound. You, mis you misspelled it. <laughs> I saw you, Santa. <laughs> Lovely. Lovely. Can I just say that a lot of people are missing the Santa beard? And saying that it's refreshing to see what Santa looks like without the beard. This is it. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, so mostly biggest Kickstarter yeah, or game found. Your, uh, yeah, project. Black Shadow. I don't. I don't know what. Uh, What's the most expensive? The it, biggest. It could have been Edge Dawnfall was pretty big. That was from that was on Game Found. I think. Keep in mind, we're dealing with or exchange was, rates here in Canada, yeah. so everyone's dollar is better than ours so, right now. I think it was the either the Edge Dawnfall yeah, or um, right. well, Cthulhu was big too because it had the big mini. I think it was. I'm gonna go, I think it was Awakened Realms. It was an Awakened oh, Realms game that was the most. Yeah. Okay. I think so. Okay, so I'm gonna go with the Edge Dawnfall as possible. One of the big ones. One of the big ones, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the winner of this said. 1100 worth of too many bones Ooh. with knowing absolutely nothing about the game. 
Wow. That's why. I, that's the same reason I bought it. I knew nothing, <laughs> and I bought it. And it, but I bought it at the cons, and it was heavy. I carried it on the so backpack. Heavy. So heavy. And we didn't buy all of it. We bought as much as I could carry, and I was like, that's enough. That was the core game. And then every time I go to cons, I try to pick up any missing pieces I have. Because we have the uh, the trove, the the Too Many Bones trove, which is that big cube. We have that. And that's filled up. Okay, have so, we played yet? Who said that? Did we announce that? The winner? Andrew K. Andrew K. Wow. Well, th this one's free, Andrew. This one's on us. Actually, it's on Smirk and Dagger. So it's not going to cost you $1,100. So the Night Cage from Smirk and Dagger to Andrew K. Andrew K. Congratulations, Andrew. Okay, what else we got? We're still on episode 19. Episode 19. And the next sponsor is Roxley. Roxley! Roxley! Roxley. Ba bam Radlands. Now, this is just a prototype, but Roxley's prototypes are very fun. Beautiful. Such a pretty little portable. They're always so polished. It's like a two player combat game where you have, like, we have locations and you try to take uh, out each other's locations. You have a bunch of different warriors battling for water. It's a great game. It's great very game. much like a Mad Max feel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What was, their winning, what was the winning answer? Biggest Kickstarter is this most recent. Sorry, most recent. <laughs> I can't pronounce this now. Uh, Cthulhu Death May Die <laughs> Kickstarter oh. is an absolutely huge project. Cthulhu made me say recent weird. <laughs> well, <laughs> the, the thing is interesting with that one is because that one was like they brought it back because like just Cthulhu Death May Die and then they brought it back to Kickstarter. So yeah, if you're getting it all now at the same time because we got the rest of it, but we didn't. We got it in two parts. We got the first one, and then we got the, the second portion. So I guess we, if you get it all together, yeah, that's a big, that's a big one to get. All right. So who said that? Maria, with a Y. That's it. Maria. Maria. Boom. Maria. Maria with a Y. This is yours, and you know what answer? <clears throat> what answer you said? Congratulations, Kayla. Keep it down with there. <laughs> stop kicking cameras. <laughs> stop coughing. <laughs> <laughs> right. Maria, congratulations! You're getting a copy of Radlands from Roxley, and thank you, Roxley. Next, on episode twenty, we're going to episode twenty. Close the end. Close the end. Close the end. So oh. there is one sponsor. After, after this, we're going to do a special announcement about the um, the sickets. The sickets. Oh, yeah. Okay. So the sponsor for this is Eagle Griffin Games. Oh, there's two. Yeah, it goes with the other box, Chris. Tisk tisk. Rudolph, turn on the nose. It's too dark over there. <laughs> Yeah, bam! Everybody can see this. I can't, I can't. Eagle Griffin There's games. too much going on there. Somebody is getting on Mars Ooh. and the expansion. Kayla in, likes in this game. Invasion. I would like that. Yeah. yeah. Kayla likes this. She's into this. This one, sorry. Yes. <laughs> yeah, she on Mars that. is amazeballs. Uh, it's board such game, a board game coffee, game. seal of approval from Vitel Lasarda, my Portuguese brother. Um, he <laughs> uh, he's doing this, and you know what? Uh, Paul from Gaming Rules, Paul Grogan, he did the rule book. Amazing. That's how we actually we met Paul, uh, because I gushed over his rule book that Hitch 8 watched, watched our preview. Yeah. We did a review video of this, actually. And I gushed over the rule book, didn't know it was Paul that did it. And somebody told me it was, so I, I went on this channel. I was like, hey, you did a great job on that rule book. And then yeah. now we're friends. I talked to him just yesterday, actually. Yeah. And because he's, he's got the how to play for Frost Haven up, which yeah. I sent to everybody here. Because we're gonna have fun with him, and I was like, "Watch this, study, study, study." Uh, anyways, yeah, he's, you know what though? He's, like, he's also any... got his. You know, the, it's upside down, but it says game rules. He's got a QR code. That's back. awesome. I mean, anything he's done in regards to the rules, he does such a great job at Paul explaining is things. Amazing. So if you haven't seen his channel, you know, check him out. He does some great yeah, so uh, explanations. And... He does great stuff. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, on Mars, fabulous game. Board game coffee seal of one of my favorites. We haven't played this much, and this is a prototype of the expansion. You're gonna get a legit version. Um, but again, Eagle Griffin Games expansions are pretty much the same thing, except they don't have inserts. So everything's kicking around in baggies. But other than that, it's pretty much the final game. Yeah. All right. What was the winning answer? What was the question? So the question, what is your favorite space-themed board game? It's <sighs> tough. This game? On Mars mm -hmm. and Terraforming Mars. I like Mars things. Oh, Tiny Epic Galaxies. That's good, too. Mm -hmm. There's so many good... Oh, Gaia Project. Yes. So there's so, so many, many good space So ones. many good ones. All of those. All of those. You know what's funny? I always say, like, whenever whenever you come to me and you're like, oh, I have a new space game, I'm like, I'm not interested in space games. But yet all of my favorite games are space games, which I don't understand. They're, all, they're all great. They're all fantastic. They're all great. So all the ones I, I mentioned, I love, I love all those. So the winner said The Crew. The Crew. We uh, we missed out on that one when it came out because it came out at a time where we were like, hey, do you, people were like, do you want to copy The Crew? It was Cosmos, right? 
think Cosmos is the crew. And they're like, do you want a copy of the crew? And we're like, we, we love it, but we can't because we're too busy. Mm-hmm. And then it came and then it blew up. All the other media people had it. And it was just like, everybody loves the crew. And I'm like, ah. we were swamped at the time. Like, we were missed out of that one. Anyways, who said that? Marcus Sale. You are the winner. Mark a sale? Marcus Sale. Marcus, Marcus sale. sale. Marcus Congrats. Sale. You can sail away with On Mars. Congratulations. Yep. Chris, thanks for keeping up the claps, buddy. Yep. <laughs> You're so alone. I can ask. Hey. Marcus. Hey. You have announcements? Well, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, Chris has got to make the announcement, actually. I'll, I'll start him off. Chris, don't say it. Don't bring it. Yeah, chill, chill, Chris. Chill, Chris. Are we done the episode? That is the last giveaway for episode 20 before we move on to 21. Okay. So. Do we know where we're at on it? Now, keep keep in mind, we um, might be. We I don't if unless anybody's made any donations since we started this video. Uh, we checked before we did this. We raised Brittany. How much money did we raise for sick kids? Are you checking? I think it was around three hundred. So we raised around three hundred. Brittany, are you checking or no? We're just I was just I was just about to check. Okay, you can check. Let's say until well, hold on, hold on. We're, we're gonna get word on this, and then. Oh, Brittany, we're not getting a word on it. Let's say it was 300. Wait a second. We were close. You don't have seconds. It's live, it's Brittany. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So, Chris, do you, have, do you have an announcement? Board Game Coffee is going to match the donations for Sick Kids Hospital. There you go. So, that means yes. you guys put in 300. We are going to put in 300. Yes. So, thank you very much for helping us raise all that money for the Sick Kitties. We just want to help them out. Now, sick kids, like for me, I wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for sick kids. Like they saved my life multiple times. They they saved me from dying. They saved me from getting my hand amputated. So they saved me from a lot of things. Uh, that and my brother-in-law who kept taking me there. <laughs> so thanks, Joe, for taking me to sick kids every time something questionable happened to me. And my sisters and parents would be like, go walk it off. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for not. It's, it's a very Portuguese thing. Yeah, it's, so. a Portuguese thing. it's a Portuguese thing. Like, we'll put some dirt on it. It'll be, fine. Good. It'll be good. Okay. So, anyways, that's our big announcement. So, thank you everybody for helping us. And it's not too late. You can go to our uh, links on the other videos again because this video we screwed that up. We, had, we lost the links. But if you want, it's not too late to donate. We're going to keep that up for another, what, two weeks, Britt? Uh, we'll keep it up. Uh, Ken. I can. Yeah, I can keep it up. We'll keep it up for a little bit. Why not? Then, There's... We'll just keep it up. Yeah. No harm. We'll keep it up for uh, until the end of the year. And that's it. So that's good news. Thank Chris. Thanks for bringing us that good news. And thank you so much, everyone who helped us, uh, you know, add to that and, and raise our goal. Yes. Thank you very we much. We really appreciate we it. it. Yeah, we did it. We did it. Yeah. Good job. Go good team. job. Good job. Okay. Episode 21. 21. Two sponsors. The first. The first sponsor. Crowd Games. Crowd Games. With. With. Winter Queen with expansion. This looks so pretty. It's such a pretty game we've never played. It's, it's a piece of paper. It's it's one of the prettiest. <laughs> it, it, it's, oh, it's, Rudolph is all of a sudden so smart. The box art is pretty. Okay, who, who won this? That's the question. So there was a question for this one. Mark just wanted birthday wishes. Mm. <laughs> uh, what was the winning birthday wish? The comment was, happy birthday, Mang. Hope it was a great one. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Who said it? Michael Kassler. Michael Kassler. Congratulations, you are getting a copy of Winter Queen with the expansion. And uh, for so anybody... Low with my claps. Mm-hmm. No one else is clapping with me. I'm too close to the microphone. I'm not allowed <laughs> to clap. <laughs> you, you can golf clap. Chris, you, gotta, you can all clap, but you got a distance from the microphone. how hard you clap. <laughs> all right. Next. Next. Also episode 21. The sponsor is Eagle Griffin Games. Oh, thank you very much, Crowd Games, for sponsoring Winter Queen. Eagle Griffin Games is back, back to back Eagle Griffin. And you know what Eagle Griffin does? Big boxes. The weather machine. Bang, bang. So, Ooh, that looks interesting. It, look at the bits. I know. It's crazy. I want to wow. play this so bad. I do. It's, it's okay. thank you, Eagle Griffin Games, for dope. This is my copy. It's new, but I haven't played it yet, but it's new. It's mine. Kayla, I'm sure you love this. Look at this. It's like oh, nuts. Yes, How I much stuff is on it? It's like, oh, this is like so many things. We all, we all like stuff. Look, just like stuff. So much stuff. So much stuff. So much to keep track of. <laughs> Love it. Okay, anyways, Eagle Griffin Games, what was the winning answer? Happy birthday, Mark. And you know what? Merry Christmas. Oh, yeah. that's, that's nice. <laughs> and the winner is Casey Pearson. Casey Pearson. Yes. Congratulations. You're getting yourself a copy of Weather Machine. Enjoy. 
Yeah. 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 All right, next. Episode 22. 22. Oh. So we have one sponsor, one giveaway. One sponsor, one giveaway. And the sponsor is Monolith. Monolith. So you know Thank what that means? Monolith. Big ass boxes. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. So da, 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 da. We love big ass boxes. Yeah, this is voice <laughs> appropriate, actually. Batman. Batman. I just do your Batman impression. What's that? Do you remember that night we were at Gen Con? So I just kept doing Bane impressions. I can't even do a Bane impression. I have to hear it. I was in bed where like the light was on. I was like, I was raised in the darkness. Or I can't remember. I was raised by the darkness. That's Batman voice now. I can't do the Bane voice anymore. I can't remember. But anyways, I was doing that. Chris was like, could you please shut up? <laughs> <laughs> I think it was like, I was raised by it. I was sitting in the dark. <laughs> I was molded by it. <laughs> molded in the darkness. Anyways, somebody's going to win the ba a base game. <laughs> it's funny. A base copy for this game is these two giant boxes. Yeah. So you're getting these two giant Small boxes of Batman. So who is the lucky winner, Jess? Well, first, that answer the question. What's the question? What's the question? Very appropriate. Who is your favorite Batman? Mm, this is a tough one. Because I think Bale did great, but his voice, his Batman voice, kind of ate me. Mm -hmm. And I was, I was against uh, Ben yeah, Affleck, like, mm -hmm. but then I, him in the suit, he looked like the Dark Knight, like Batman from the Dark Knight. Mm -hmm. He was like you know a thicker, burlier version, and I liked that. But he, and then the guy from Twilight surprised me, Robert. Surprisingly Pattinson? good. So I think, yeah, he surprised me too. So it's hard to pick, man. So Michael Keaton. <laughs> I really like Loki. He's the first really Batman we're going to watch. Loki, I'm going to like Loki. He's coming back. Is he? As a Batman right. in the Flash movie. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, it was a Flashpoint movie. And he's coming back because he's a Batman from an alternate universe that Flash comes across. Very exciting. Uh, so the winner said, I have to say it is who I grew up with, Adam West. Adam West. You know, I watched a lot of it, but he's never my favorite. I always thought the show was corny. I watched because nothing else was on. But you know, you gotta you gotta respect the originals. That's right. What you gotta respect. the first one, the first one you introduced to, that tends to be right. the who said that? Who said that? Andrew H. Andrew H, congratulations. You are getting a copy of Boom Boom Batman. Congratulations. Great job. Thank you. Took you 24 episodes. What episode are we on? 22. 22 episodes, Chris. And we are now on episode 23. Oh my goodness, we're so close. We yeah. have two games that are being given away by Awaken Realms. Oh, two Awaken Realm games. Oh, I can't take it. I know what Awaken Realms like does. They're going to be big. They do big they, games. They, we have one of them at least. Oh my goodness. Dun, da, da, da. Just one of the That's a we big have. box. Nemesis Lockdown. Oh, yeah, there we go. I, I feel like this might games. also be on our shelf of shame, considering we've never opened this. No, I've played Nemesis. Yeah, but we haven't opened this. Nemesis, there's Nemesis. No, it's they're not, playing it, and then they're no, buying not, it to not, play it. It's not on my shelf of shame it. if I played it. You haven't played it. I haven't played it. I don't feel shameful about this. <laughs> they just put it away. I played somebody else's copy. Anyway, Nemesis is amazeballs. I haven't played it enough to get a seal of approval, but I'm pretty sure if we played it, we'd all love it. And it, I, I could see... Be doing something that might upset you people. I no, say, not you. Shocker. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then you hate it. But no, it's a great, it's a fantastic game. Fantastic. I just want to answer a quick question. So someone asked, uh, "Where did you go? Where did you go?" James Reed Jr. said, uh, "Will there be a complete list of the winners?" Yes, we're going to put a complete list of the winners in the description <laughs> of this video, not the comments. Just to be clear. Yeah, if you're if you're reaching out in the comments, don't trust it. Hey, hold on, I see uh, Palio Doom. Wasn't that like one of our winners early on? It was. Palio Doom, welcome. You are the winner, right? You did win it early, won something. Right, early it won episode. Something earlier, maybe he just or they. I don't know who it is. Uh, just well, if I think Palio Doom was the husband of no, 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 no? that was somebody no. else. Was it? Oh, okay, I remember. Anyways, I can't remember. I just saw the name come up on the screen. I thought that might have been one of our winners. Yes, thank you from at the beginning. See? Oh, okay. Hold on. Was your wife the other winner? Yes! yes See, you thank right. you! <laughs> Boom! Who remembers yeah, things? Who remembers There's things? A whole feeling. Yeah. 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 A two separate contests. It was awesome. so random. Alright. So. That's who is winning this? Down. What's the question? Yeah. If Awaken Realms made a game based on an IP, what should it be? Examples, Lord of the Rings, Star Wars, Harry Potter, etc. I, I want they do a lot of like they do messed up really good like Tainted Grails and Ether mm -hmm. Fields. 
Aether, 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 Aether,
Oh, actually, I don't Merry even. Merry Christmas, don't happy holidays, everyone. Season. I think if you bring up the game, let's do it at the same time. Time, go get the box, bring it over, and Jess will announce the publisher at the same time. Because it will be this a given. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Looking forward to. Okay. Merry Christmas. Oh it's the definitely the heaviest one. one. Thank you to all of our sponsors. No, it's it's not have done this it's without our, you. Yeah, it's our newest. It's our newest heaviest. Of the movie. Boom! Bring it. Bring it. Cephalo Fair Games. Cephalo Fair Games. Congratulations. No, tip it. What the hell are you doing? No. So somebody's gonna get Frost Haven from Cephalo Fair Games. Um, so again, thank you, Cephalo Fair. So many great giveaways this episode. So before we announce the winner to this big boy, uh, this box looks bigger than yours because mine has like an insert, which you won't get. But you're not only getting Frost Haven, you're also getting solo scenarios and removable stickers, which I don't have. We don't have. But I do have the insert, so I'm happy with the insert. And solo scenarios, I'm not going to play this by myself anyways. Um, so I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. <laughs> we had someone in the comments saying they'd never heard of Frost Haven before. And then there was a big joking. Yeah. <laughs> so Frost Haven. Okay. So this is a big one. This is a big one, Jess. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. What was the question? What was the question? What was the question? So this one said... So Brittany and I don't have names for our Frost Haven characters. So the challenge was to give a name for both oh, of us. Okay. So for Brittany's Bone Shaper character and my Death Walker character. And the comment is Bone Shaper, Brittle Breaker, Brittle Breaker? and Death Walker the Reaper. Reaper. Awesome job, guys. Thanks for all you do in this community. Oh, that's a nice uh, sign off. Thank that you. That is nice. Now, who said that? So winner, Nick for Lizzie. Nick for Lizzie, congratulations. congratulations. You are our final winner. Congratulations, Nick for Easy. Just saying, yeah, I'm the one who won the Batman. Thanks. Oh. oh. Excellent. So I can't wait Thanks. to send these guys out, send these all out to you, or get other people to send them out to you. <laughs> but what was it Mick, Nick? Nick? Nick for Lizzie. Nick for Lizzie. Congratulations, Nick for Lizzie. You're getting this. And remember, if nobody responds and I can't get a hold of the winners. I'm going to be we'll reaching out to you guys. This is where we see the numbers just drop off. Everybody's like, peace out. I didn't win anything. I'm out of here. Uh, but yeah, thank you all for generous donations to the kids. Thank you all Merry for Merry Christmas. Entering. Happy holidays. Happy New Year. Thank you so much. Thank you, our sponsors. And this will be our last giveaway. Thank you very much to our generous sponsors, all of them. And Supple for being our last one. But everybody, there's so many, too many to name right now. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you guys. I guess we're going to sign off. I just got to find the mouse so I can actually do this. Here. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Oh, we're getting so many uh, Merry Christmases. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry 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 Bye. Bye.